And now we get to start the fun stuff. I'm gonna make sure everything's all set up for myself real quick. There we go. Key. You are pulled mm -hmm. by the hand by a small way young into her room. You can see litters and litters of toys, mechanical little dolls, and in the corner you also see a small music box, lightly on the side. Some wind-up ducks that seem to be torn apart a little bit, and gears and cogs in neat little piles, as if she's starting to tinker herself. She kind of looks at you and pulls you in. So, um, I, I wanted to show you what I'm working on. Um, so she pulls your hand over lightly and she kind of pats the ground next to her as she crosses her legs, crisscross apple socks on the ground. She pats by. So see this doll, this little duck, duck, duck? I want to make it so instead of quacking every single time it goes do 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 i want to be able to make it quack on command with a button so i'm gonna make a little button on the side and then grandpa's gonna help me do the enchantment to make it go quack so that i can scare people i'm gonna have it go up behind and quack really loud you think that's gonna be fun hey I think so, yeah. I <laughs> Yeah, I, I was gonna have Chang help me out, but I I don't I don't know if he has time to. <clears throat> I'm sure that he would like to help. Um I mean, <laughs> could always ask. Doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, um, I should wait until he's done talking to Grandpa. Um, do you want to see what else I've been working on? Um, sure. Yeah. And you see her go over to a corner and she takes out papers and different things of like very crude looking child drawings. I'm gonna have you roll an intelligence to see if you can understand what any of these kind of are trying to <laughs> imply. <laughs> okay. Um would help if I had my sheet open. Oh, it is open. It's just on a different window. Okay. Um so that would make it a fifteen. You get the gist that a lot of these are toys. A lot of them are a thing that can make a ball expand and then flatten, but then re-expand if needed to play with. So, like, something to easily store away when not needed or to put in your pocket. You see another thing that looks to be another kind of gag, like a kind of, like, funny joke kind of thing. And this one is supposed to make a fart noise. And... It's it's a lot of, not something you'd expect from her. You didn't kind of get that she was a jokester, but looking at a lot of the stuff that she has, she's a little mischievous. She's a little bit of a troublemaker, but everyone's been fooled by her little bright, happy face. She, <laughs> seems, she seems to want to make some trouble, but she's not quite, not quite there yet. Very mischievous of her. Um, you see another thing that is actually, like, a stink bomb that she has, like, written up. And she has, like, the ingredients <laughs> that she would actually, like, put together to make the stink. And, like, this is very interesting. Thought it would be, like, sunshine and rainbows with this little baby, but, uh, man, maybe not. You see her just big smile and just like <laughs> So, um do you wanna play with something or are you what are you thinking? <clears throat> I 
Uh. Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to play hide and seek? Or we can play checkers, or we can play cards, or you can play uh, tic-tac-toe, or we can play super stealthy detective. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, <laughs> pretty familiar with checkers. <laughs> I I can I can um, do that one second. You see her kind of get up from the crisscross, and you see her run to what looks to be like a large cabinet, and you see her like put it open, and there's boxes and boxes of like really old looking games. But then like there's actually some games you recognize that have been pretty battered and like a little bit. And there's like the more you're looking at it, the more you're kind of like, huh? You can roll investigation or intelligence. I mean, investigation, because it's higher, but... 23. So the amount of different places that you have been over time, you're recognizing this cupboard is showing <clears throat> this family has been multiple places. This toy cupboard has toys from the gardens. It has toys from glory grove of course it has toys from bone city it has toys from all over the place and it makes sense a little bit i don't know why this music is the music yeah i was just right now. i i this was is, just what i was like <laughs> this is I know not you had your my playlist, playlist <laughs> this isn't my playlist i was like interesting choice for today but okay i'll i'll go with it i guess but it's a little epic for playing with a little girl. <laughs> okay. That's not what I what? wanted. I don't know why it's doing that. Intense playtime. Apparently. <laughs> my god. We're gonna play, we are going to play Jurassic Park. Actually. That's, <laughs> that's, that's true. That's what's really going to happen. Um, I'm going to... Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna disconnect this and we're gonna re put some uh, <laughs> new music on because it went Something not else. to my playlist. <laughs> okay. Is that, is it that the playlist that it always hates? Yeah. The one that you had on before? Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> well, all right. Yeah, any of those ones that have like epic, like brass music, I was like, okay, all right, we're going, we're going with some. Uh... Yeah, I was like, okay. Um, but anyway, back right. on the track, um, you're seeing that, looking at this toy cupboard, this has really, really old toys, but it has some newer toys that seem to be from Glory Grove. And you see one in particular that you grew up playing in the gardens, which is kind of like a mouse trap game. You're able to like, uh, put together some things to make something fall and capture something kind of game. And... The fact that the Vale had lost this family kind of makes sense now. They've, over time, the family has moved from place to place to place. But what side of the family was it you don't really remember? But judging from what you know, you're like, okay, they've, either someone knows, possibly, or they just have been moving around for a very long time. You see her struggle as she takes out the checkers and she puts it onto the ground and the checkers design that you actually are able to see is that of um, pumpkins and ghosts. This is a checkers game from The Hollow. And she puts it out and starts to set it up. Um, do you want the orange guys or do you want the ghosts? Uh, 
Hello. Hello, there it is. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? I like the orange guys. They always have really good smiles on them. Okay, um, you can place that mug to the ghost. <laughs> you see her set it up. Basically, um, she's, uh, blacks your reds. Okay. Okay, so she's setting that up. Puts it on. And you guys start playing for a little bit. And I'm gonna have you roll against this baby. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this game three times. Okay. Checkers versus Way Young. <laughs> She's not holding back either. You can see, like, there's a glint in her oh. eye. I'm sure. I'm sure. And she's like, <laughs> you're going down, pretty lady. So, do your first roll. Tell me what you got. I got a 10. You guys draw. She also got a 10. Okay. <laughs> nice. So, you guys basically tie to the point where neither of you can win or lose in this game. So you both kind of go, call it a tie for now. Two more rounds, and if we tie again, we go a fourth round. Do your second round. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 17. 17. You just beat her. Just, it was like the very last second. She puts one down, and you see her let go of the checkers, and the rule of the game is once you let go of the checker, you can't move it again. And then you see her almost hesitate, because she realized that she forgot a move you could do, and you immediately took it. And she just goes, oh, one more time, one more time! <laughs> okay. What'd you get? Three. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are now one for one because you tied before the last game. You guys tie one on one. Last one. You see her like she has that gleam in her eyes. She's very, very determined. Oh. What'd you get? <laughs> I got a <clears throat> natural 20. <laughs> she got a natural one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And this time, you see her start to waver as you do your first three moves. And, like, you see in her, like, little mind, she's going, Oh, that's what I was going to do. Oh, no. <laughs> and every single time, it's just immediately gone, gone, gone. And you see her kind of pout and before going, Good game. <laughs> she shakes her hand. <laughs> you too. At the last moment, she holds and goes, I'll beat you next time. Yeah, you probably will. I know I will. Chink. This, this was just your way of testing to see how good I am at games. It's, just, just it's very, very true. Because Chang is not good at games. Especially checkers. Mm. Yeah, not, I can actually, that's not hard to believe, actually. Not against me. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> sort of grew up playing games, so. Mm hmm. My fine will come by once in a while when he's picking up some stuff and we'll play too. It's nice. Yeah, he's cool. Um, do you want to go? And say hi to Grandpa and Chang. They might be doing stuff, or I'm not sure. Or do you want to play another game? Um, I I was told I should probably go uh, meet your grandfather, and you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, well, we could do that. She kind of gets up. 
she's young. She's probably, it's probably nap time for her right now. Yeah. <laughs> you can see her, like, she's getting up, blinking a few times, goes to take your hand before you hear a... We're young, it's time for sleep, please. Darling. And Gwyllian goes, No, I want to go say hi to Grandpa. And her mom just kind of scoops her up, kind of gives you the down the hall look, like, just go, I'll put her asleep kind of thing. Um, I need you to roll a d20, please. 15. There's a, a pang in your chest, seeing the mother pick up the child and the dozy kind of look in her eyes as she kind of wavers a little bit, you know, nodding, kind of asleep. And for a moment, you can see yourself in someone's arms. You can, you can hear a low hum of a song in the back of your head and... As you watch Chang's mother slowly tuck Wei Young into bed, you can almost feel the comfort yourself and it's familiar and you feel pain in your chest ever so slightly. And you kind of shake your head and you walk out the door. Where would you like to go? Am I, am I currently alone? You are currently alone. Okay, well then I'm gonna take a chance real quick just to kind of do a messagey thingy. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. What would you like to send? <laughs> um... Fuck, okay. <laughs> Do you remember when I said I had ways of reaching out to people if I was in the same realm as them? May or may not be in the same realm right now. That's it. <laughs> okay. You don't hear anything at first. Which one were you focusing on? One from our timeline. <laughs> okay. I need you to roll a percentile dice. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't fair. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. That's 99. Okay, exactly who you want. <laughs> it takes a moment before you hear, I'm, I'm sorry, you're in Glow Grove. Not cute, you're actually here. Um, where are you? What happened to having your ways of knowing where we were? <laughs> I'm at a friend's house. I was not expecting you to arrive so soon. What friend? The only person I know from Glory Grove. Oh, right, a, s a small one. I think I ordered something from them a little while, a bit ago. Um, I'm in Ologria. It's uh, kind of more of a industrial area. Um, do you want to come to me? It might be a little bit easier for me at the moment, if you're able. I can try. <laughs> I don't really know my way around here, but I'll, I'll try. I just have my hands tied right now. Sorry. Okay, um, I'll try. No response. 
<laughs> How do you say oh? Can you type it in the chat what it is? Oh, so it's oh. Alogria. 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 Um, oh. It's basically. Um, Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Logo, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to say it in her accent, so. <laughs> our, our Lagria. Our, our, our Lagria. <laughs> if it's Orlagria, then she would probably, like, our, our Lagria. Our Lagria. That's what. Okay. <laughs> our Lagria. <Yeah. laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, now she's just gonna go keep going um, down the hall. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Um, it takes you a while before you you hear the door open and you see um, Chang's grandfather like leave the location and he's like, "Oh, Willem. Hi. Um, you are." An with my grandson, right? Friend, co-worker. Nice to meet you. He's going like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shake his hand. It's a, it's a I... firm grip. Um, seems jolly enough. He seems to be kind of scuttering away for the moment to doing something. And he kind of motions you into the workshop. He goes, uh, Chang's right on in there. I'm sorry, I froze for a second. What was that? Chang <laughs> is workshop. he's like workshop Chang's right on in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna keep going that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when you enter the workshop, it is cogs and gears and things and doodads, who's it's and what's it's just absolutely fucking everywhere when you go into here. Um, there's a large table, you see Chang going through a book. But there is stuff everywhere in here. Ash, if you would like to unmute yourself. Welcome to Grandfather's uh, workshop. <laughs> so you are currently going through the ledger, Chang. I mean, there's the ledger, there's the box. Mm -hmm. Um. You see, well, actually, roll a perception. <laughs> Let's oh, see boy. if you notice that key walks in. Oh my god. <clears throat> of course I don't. It's an 11. No idea. Key, you just see that Chang is like studying this very closely and He's, like kind yep, of talking yep. to himself. She's gonna yeah. walk up behind him and just kind of clear her throat and be like, <clears throat> Um, he jumps, and he's like, oh, oh, my god. <laughs> what? Sorry. What? Sorry. What? 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 Um, oh. Oh, hi. Hi. You're a little jumpy there. Good? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Great. Can I insight check that? <laughs> you can. You can definitely insight check that. <laughs> Alright, so my insight, because it's probably going to be um, it'll be a 22. Damn. R.I.P. Um, frazzled seems to have just recently gotten information that is kind of off-putting to Chang. Seems seems frazzled more so than normal. Okay, so she just kind of like narrows her eyes at him a little bit and goes What happened to uh, not denying the truth? Remember last time I asked if you were okay, you said no, and you were the only one who actually answered with no. I told you that. And you told me that you didn't believe you've been lying. So what changed? 
<laughs> Chang kind of does the look behind you at the door, making sure no one is behind <laughs> yeah. you kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. And um, what was in the ledger again? Because like, I'm trying to find it, but I'm like, I forgot the name that I found in it. Well, go? well, you, you well, found Fenry's name. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess you could start with that. Yeah. And, um, and, and the box. Oh, imagine that! It's like, was here multiple... Multiple times! <laughs> <laughs> and my okay, grandfather well, has noted! you many times. Key, key will... Uh, can I look at, at the like? Are you showing her the ledger, or are you just telling her? Wait, what? Are you showing are you her showing the ledger? Me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because aren't aren't there important notes on that ledger about Venry regarding a scar and no scar? Yeah, and the, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. How often? That. Yep. Do I notice that <laughs> with your investigation? Oh yeah. Yeah, you notice that there's, it's only the last one that you can't tell if it says scar or no, no scar. You can't quite get that one out if the most recent okay. one is that one or not. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I just sort of talked to him and he said that he had ordered something from them, so... Guess that's what this is. You talk to him. Which oh. one? <laughs> um, <clears throat> the the one that I know. Oh, okay. I think. <laughs> I hope. Do I know? Technically, like, I know, but does Keen know that that's who she was talking to? Technically? That's who she thinks she talked to? She thinks she talked. Oh okay, so... I She's think... assuming that's the one that went through, because that's the one you were focusing on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> do you know... Do you know where, uh... Our... Our Lagria is... Um, hold on. Oh my god, my thing is lagging. Help. Oh, you're fine. Send help. I can't find the. Uh, oh, there it is. Right there. Does he know where it is or does he know of it? Or... Yeah, you've I been can't... to every single location. You've lived oh, here yeah. long enough that you've definitely been to every single location. You just don't know when. Is the you you don't know whether if you guys are gonna have a connection point between mm. your island and their island, or if it would make more sense for you to use the blimp transportation. Mm, I mean, yeah, yeah, okay. Because the islands are constantly moving back and forth, sideways, up and down. Okay. But you would also notice that Clockwood's name is in that ledger as well. Does it say like a location for Clockwood? It's old. Oh, okay. All right. So, not really. More so just the name, what they wanted, and how much it was kind of thing. And like the date of creation and pickup. Okay. Um. You technically won't know when there's connection points between the islands unless you go to some of the connection points and ask and looking at the bulletin board that will have the schedule. Wait, what's that again? The what schedule? What? The bulletin board schedule that will have connection points. It will tell In you. 
in where you live over by the bridges, which are the connection points between the islands, they have a bulletin board saying what time of day each of the what islands connect at this bridge. Okay. And then okay. the blimps, they're constantly running 24-7. So if you're looking to be a little bit more quicker, that's the easiest route to take unless you can fly. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So he but. would say that he does know where it is, mm -hmm. and depending on how quickly she wants to get there, he has options mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about how to get there. Yeah, yeah. So there's a couple options. You guys would just have to, you know, look it up. Yeah. Yep, and there's two mm -hmm. connection mm -hmm. points where you currently are, which is um, Yanhua. Um, there is the northern, the northeast, or the southeast connection points. Or you can go to the towers to the blimp. The towers, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Hold on, sorry. It's like a bus system, is basically what it is. It's just like, yeah, constantly does a loop. Yeah. Yeah. Where she is. You would also... Well, you can probably put two and two together. I'm not gonna give you what? information. It's in your slides. Of people you might know in that location. Oh. Flip, 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 flip. Where'd it go? Avalo. I'm trying to find it. I am going to highlight it for you. <laughs> Highlighted. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I think he... Yeah. I think... Did we discuss this last time? I feel like he made that connection at some point. Yeah, he did because... make that connection. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because I, I was about to be well, like, does he know that? Is he... No, no. You do not know. No? He never said anything, no. Well, he saw his last no, if it's what I'm, No, it's exactly what you think it is. It was, so what, what you know, you do know, because Venry is going by last name, so you do know, and you did make the connection because that name is in the journal, but mm -hmm. he has never spoken to you about that. So as far as information about that sort of thing, you wouldn't know anything. All yeah. you know is that that's the last name. Yeah. But you would definitely make that connection key, seeing that he is utilizing that last name in the ledger. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, Wait, I figured. I'm so confused now. I so I'm going to have you roll an intelligence for me, Chang. Oh, God. Oh, that's hilarious. I got a dirty 20. Good, because it's it's higher than the 19 that I just rolled that you needed. <laughs> Dang. <Wow. laughs> so you have been able to put two and two together, considering Venry is a name that you have never heard before. And you are now kind of making the connection that they might have a connection between the two of them. This is why this person is utilizing that last name. But that is basically all that you're coming across. There's a possibility, not necessarily it's been set in stone. Well, I know that he recognizes the last name at least. He's confused yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, does he know about the status of that person or just the information that's in my slide? The status? What do you mean? Uh, uh, I'm looking at the slide for Orologiria? Yeah. And... His name is on that one as well. Uh huh. As as a leader, <laughs> so mm -hmm. does he know that he's the leader? Please hold. <laughs> I'm like Nani. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> Nani the fuck. <laughs> uh, yes, you would be aware. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Oh shit! 
Didn't we just learn that the leaders do not trust the water? <laughs> so this is a different kind of leader. These are the people who oh, are okay. kind of like have been voted by the people on that island to represent oh. them in parliament. Oh, that kind of leader. Got yes, it. yes. So these basically are mayors of each of the islands who then report to Valor. And then Valor is the one to make all the decisions. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to remember each of these islands, they're not too keen with each of the other islands. There's a lot of underground bullshit happening in between these two. So the leader leader is Valor, but then you have these leaders and like people who are trying to technically kind of take more control in the political realm of things but you don't know where they personally stand. You do know that the leader of your current island is in fact trying to get independence. Yeah. As most of these islands are, but the leader, Valor, has such a fucking grip on everyone and like monopolizes everything like he taxes the shit out of everyone eat the ridge yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so i take it that chang's at least on like either neutral to positive terms with mr eldron yeah, yeah. Your grandpa and him have done stuff with them. Considering, like, what that man's background is, uh -huh. it, it makes sense as to why your grandfather and him would work. Because he's he's kind of like, uh, when you met Santa, kind of reminded you of this dude. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. But, like, Luna. Chang doesn't have, like, he doesn't record outside of the context of, like, what we know Venry to be, mm -hmm. Chang doesn't have, like, he doesn't know anything about that name whatsoever. Like, that name is just super foreign to him. It's, you had the conversation with Key. It's, you're uh -huh. not putting all of the puzzle pieces together yet. Okay. Like, Key you hasn't have... talked about all of the puzzle pieces. <laughs> yeah, you have bits and pieces that you can make your own assumptions about, but you don't have any mm -hmm. confirmation. Okay. No, I was just going to say, I wonder if Kang has ever heard that name before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The last oh. name? Yes. Well, the last name, yes, but the first name. That's no, first name. this is the first time yeah. of those yeah. two names ever being said together. Yeah, because he knows... Because it seems here like he knows enough about about George that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that he should have at least found out of yep. Venry. So that's why he's like, you could ask, you could ask, I know you could what he knows, <laughs> you could see what he knows. <laughs> if the thing with your information, Chang, is that Venry was never brought up in yeah, that exactly. family so before. But yeah. you knew of that entire family that you thought you yeah. did. Yeah. So seeing <laughs> a new name and it's technically his name, you're thrown off. Yeah. You're like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you threw me off my groove. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, um... Yeah. Um... Okay. So that's kind of where you're at. That's where you're at. Okay, okay, okay. So All right, so back into it. Key is next to you. You're going through that ledger. Um, Benry with that last name. Um, you also see Cluckwoods, and you also see a James Kells in there as well. That's right, that's right. James Kells. Yep. Um, he'll try asking about that first, the James Kells thing. He's like, you know, this recognize his name. To Key? Yeah. Yeah. 
think she she doesn't know that name, right? I don't think this she does. This is yeah. a brand new name that you guys have never come across before because people took Ooh. things and never showed it to the group. Mm, imagine that. So, so she's gonna shake her head and just say, "No, doesn't that one doesn't look familiar?" <laughs> Yeah, he's, um, <laughs> he's like, we might want to keep an eye on this one. Um, don't, <laughs> don't freak out, but, um, my grandfather is partially responsible for marionette. I'm sorry. Responsible? <clears throat> Meaning what? He's just like... He's like, um... Wow, oh, this is hard. <laughs> uh, he helped create her heart. And it looks like this other person is ordering something similar. Hey, <clears throat> so my grandfather's the one who's creating this, uh, whatever sort of thing they're trying to create. The information in the ledger state that his grandfather helped with the creation of the heart mechanism mm -hmm. that could pump mm -hmm. a liquid through, but that was it. That was a job for him. Yeah. Right. But Chang made it seem like... Well, he's still <laughs> he... concerned because he... It would mean he technically worked with... You know. Mm -hmm. Considering who's involved. Yeah. So, in a way... Like, in, in Chang's eyes, that... Kind of, he kind of feels responsible, and like that's worth mentioning because any um, connection to the veil is, is a bad connection. So he's like, oh, that's, that's not fair. our finest hour. <laughs> he's just like, not, not great. Um, <laughs> hey, he's it out. I was gonna act. It was aware. I mean. I don't think he was aware I asked him about it and it didn't seem like I just let him know that maybe he um uh... maybe he shouldn't do that again considering that his uh creation is in the body of a rampaging maniac. Yeah. <laughs> a uh, robot that's on the hunt for all of us. Did you mention yeah. that? Did, did he mention that? Not that the robot was hunting you guys down. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just like, he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how much you are comfortable telling him, but I assume he's already associated with it. Maybe it might be a little bit, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna tell you what to tell them, but I, I, I don't know, Chang. <laughs> that's. I mean, if he wasn't aware, then that's fine, I guess. But it's sort of concerning, at least. Concerning because I would hope. I'm hoping they don't. I don't know. I think that this location in jeopardy. You know what I mean? And... This location is in... The shop. This your home. House. Yes. And I just... I can't see... It just makes no sense to me, like... How, how are orders placed here? I mean, is it... Do you have to come in person, or are there ways you can communicate other ways? <laughs> he, like, like, he, um... Picks up Venry's box and 
he shows up to her and I'm like, I don't know because this is here. I'm assuming he has to come here to get this. Um, Chang, roll intelligence for me. It's it's a low DC because it's just remembering how the shop works. Okay. You got an eight for whatever reason. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Because you, you, okay, you just like, needed yeah. you needed five or more. You've lived in this house for years. You know how it works. Okay. People can either come in personally. Sometimes they have a runner that will come in, or sometimes it will just be through like the mail, because um, you guys okay. do have a mail service at this location. So there's multiple ways that orders can be placed. It's just okay. when the transaction of money happens. A physical someone has to be in the store, whether it's the person who's purchasing or the runner that is giving the money over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's she's still concerned about that because it's mm -hmm. like that's a little too close for comfort. Mm -hmm. Not fond of that idea. Um. So. Did you uh, tell your grandfather about the group at all? Uh, the, mm, well, I'm assuming he must have. You didn't. He, you told a lot of stuff to your grandfather. Yeah. Because we just kind of be like, and you told him things, but we didn't go yeah, through specifics. Yeah. Yeah, he was more talking, because, like, it was more of a nerd talk, I guess, of all the wonders he's come across. Yeah. In the realms. So he he might have skipped, uh... I assume that he probably would have skipped the more mm -hmm. delicate information, unless it pertained yeah. to some kind of knowledge that he feels that his grandfather would have appreciated so yeah. stuff that you would have told your grandfather would have been stuff about marinette because she was an anomaly and then the other thing that you would have told them about would have been the tower and like that little centerpiece with like the electricity and the growth of the yeah. uh, thing um yeah and like some other stuff um do you think you would have told your grandfather about your pact with metalia Did he show him? I don't remember if he showed him or not. Um, well, you can come, you can make that choice now if you would like. Do you show your, gra did you show your grandfather your tattoo and stuff of Metallio? Did you so show him what you can do now? I feel like you showed him something. I, could... I know that you showed the bird. Okay. You showed the bird yeah. and the enhancements that you had done. Yeah. But yes. I don't think you showed him anything regarding the old the ancients. Because I think you actually were very cautious with that. Yeah. Like, you're, you love your grandfather. Thing, you would tell him yeah. everything, but also you've learned some shit. Yeah. So what was the question again? Question is, do you think you would have told your grandfather about Metallio in your pact with? Hmm. Also, you haven't opened that box yet, I don't believe. No, he has not. I think of he what to... Venry had ordered. No, I just have in my notes that. Yeah, because you guys don't know if, because whatever is in that box is the most recent order, and you guys can't tell yeah. whether it is with Scar or without Scar. Yeah, it just, I have in my notes, it says, Venry ordered a mod on his gun mm -hmm. from Grandpa. Yeah. So that's what I learned. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and he learned that, uh... Yeah, it's something getting adjusted, remade, small things. Um, yeah. Okay. So. 
so. But I'm I'm sorry. What was Key asking? I like. He he asked if you told your grandfather about the veil. <laughs> oh, I don't think. I didn't you, get to that part when I was You told him like, that there were cool. bad people. You did not spe yeah. specify who they were. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't specify. So he, like, kind of vaguely... Implied. So he, like, kind of, but not really... It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Um, it is fine. It's fine. I'm just... I'm trying... I... <laughs> but he knows I forgot, though. Um, And he says he, kind, he wants to fix it, apparently. Even though I told him um, that I already have an answer. Speaking of that, Chang, um, I sort of might have uh, talked to a certain little one, um, oh. and that little one would like some help in tinkering on some things, and I don't know, maybe you might enjoy it. Just, you know. What? She tinkers. She tinkers, yeah. Hmm. Like you, actually. I think she probably... Maybe picked it up because of you. I mean, well, I mean, your family, clearly. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would make sense. Maybe? Ah, well, I wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> would I? Um... Oh. Maybe, maybe we should go over some things first because, um, your, your friend been to my house and apparently is in good enough terms to just chill out with my family members. Um, and he has a last name. I recognize, but I've never heard of Wait, him. You recognize that name? Uh, yeah. He's. he's... <laughs> Hold on, let me see what it is. Mm. Eldrum? <laughs> it's Eldrum. <laughs> Eldrum? Like, like, <laughs> no, he was about to be like, yeah, my grandpa does trades with him, like, a lot. And. His wife is like sort of food. Um, but I've never heard of Venry before. Oh, I you would feel have. like I would have. I feel like I would have. I've. He's not from here. That's why. Yeah, but why does he have that last name? Steal mm -hmm. your name? No. Have you used your lantern yet today? No, I haven't. Yes, you did. <laughs> I did. We're still oh, on the day with your grandfather. No. Yeah. Wait, but wait, wouldn't that mean because it doesn't last for six hours? It does last for six. It's hours. still. So that it's, mean that still it's still going. going. Okay, we are we? Tried it in the shop because he used because of the grandpa. Yeah, you asked oh, your grandfather. Exactly. Yeah. Are we still good then? <laughs> on, yeah. Uh... You guys are. You can use it. It's still within six hours. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so I guess I'm really trying. <laughs> yeah, it's right here on the table. It's ready to go. <laughs> okay. Man, are we good? Not, Is I'm there any, uh, good. are there any, uh, things around? <laughs> so you're gonna pick it up and move it around yeah. to see, um, roll perception. Friendly. Like. You see one tiny globule just for a moment before it goes. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I guess something's watching. Okay. If it disappears, does that mean that it's not there anymore, or does it, like... It was there. Once it realized it was being detected, it went away. It went away? Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Great. 
being watched in my own house. Yeah, who was it? Creepy at all. Question is, who was it watching? I'm supposed to know that. Huh. Uh. Okay, so we're good then. No. I need to know who he is. I know. I'm asking. We're good. Never heard I'm, of like, him. I'm <laughs> not going to say anything until I know that no one's listening right now. Oh. Okay. You would also see the thing go away. Yeah, I know. But like, she doesn't know how it works. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> she, she, I was like, I, she mean, know how that thing works. I mean, it's not here, so. Okay. Is so. Okay. Oh. I grew up with him in the gardens. And his mother lives in the gardens. Uh, his mother was a part of an arranged marriage to a man who... Hmm. Talk about him at a different time. <laughs> to a man who is horrid has yeah. no heart but uh she was arranged to him i guess but then i guess there was a time where she had she she worked for mother nature and she um had a meeting i guess that happens every so often where the the leaders all come together and because she worked with uh mother nature she was at a meeting with the leaders and that's where she met someone else um and i guess she sort of had an affair and um yeah so what was your name her name i don't think you would know her name. Well, uh... I doubt you would know her name. You would not. Okay. I know what you're well, looking at. Well, here I know... Okay, I'm like... It's, it's the son and daughter of, is what you're looking at. Yeah, that's why he's confused. He's like, okay. What is, what about... what is confusing? Huh? What is he confused on? <laughs> well, he knows that Eldron lost family, so he's just trying to figure out who the hell Henry's related to. Okay. He's just like, who was it? And, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So, he, wait, is he, does he look, like, confused? <laughs> Probably just being, like, trying to put two... You can see, like... Chang's brain's working overtime a little bit, probably <laughs> overthinking a few things, trying to connect to dots that aren't completely there for them yet. Okay, mm. so Key's Key is gonna sigh. <laughs> Just looks at him and goes, Venry's father is that name. Eldra. That's, that was Venry's father's last name. Which and... I am highlighting. He, yeah, that's as far as I was asking, that's why I was as, asking. I, and I'm working on, I'm working on explaining it, Chang, okay? Just give me okay. a minute. <laughs> oh His father God. He just wanted to is, know which of the kids, you know, had that kid. <laughs> His mom, his mom was in the forest. She, she, she what? You know what I mean? <laughs> My brain is not here right now. It's okay, Ash. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, father is no longer alive, as far as I know. Um, but his mother is. So I guess he just sort of grew up with her. I see. <laughs> okay okay that makes more sense now. <laughs> it's like i don't know what brings okay that's what i thought that's what i thought that's what i thought okay mm. so 
Quick. I, I have a request. Right. Father like son, huh? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Sorry. Was that an Ash or was that a Chang? <laughs> Ash. Wanna... What does that mean? I'm sorry. What are you implying? Oh my god. <laughs> I know what they're saying. No. <laughs> <laughs> god. I'm sorry. I'm like derailing this so hard. I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> anyway. Look, I have a request. Okay. Yeah, in regards to him. <sighs> I. There's a re reason I was so quiet about him for so long. Um. I don't know what sort of trouble he could be in, and I'm trying to keep him from... Trying to keep him... Safe, I guess. I just... I don't... Uh... All I ask is that you don't go walking around just giving the name out and talking about him. I mean, I know, obviously, this was a little bit of a different situation because his name came up, but... Um... <clears throat> uh, hold on. I'm double checking something. You you remember the journal, right? Does does Chang have the journal? I forgot. Yeah, Chang is the one with the possession of the journal. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So he like takes it out. Mm -hmm. And he flips it to the page of the names. Yes, I I, okay. uh, trust me, I'm aware that the name right. is on so there. You're, you're, you're aware of how he's I, probably I, already I didn't, I didn't know he was running around giving that name out to people. And believe me, I might say something to him about that. Okay. And be like, all right, yeah. Idiot. But yeah, his name is here and somebody else's I know. name is here in this ledger. And I know. I just, it's a little too close for comfort. thing is, uh, he wasn't originally... Uh, well, I mean, I I don't blame him for going by that name, but I just ugh. he's kind of putting himself I don't um, at risk there. <laughs> well, he might not know it. That's the thing. He might not know it. But that's another conversation um, we have with him. Maybe someday, some point. But uh, I'm aware that that name. I've been aware. I mean, when we picked up that journal, I already knew that name, so I noticed that right away. But, um, uh, his, his family in the gardens, I mean, I, I just learned that name. They know he exists. They, they do, but they don't because they lost track of him. But they know he exists. That's a problem. I know. Trust me. I, that's why mm -hmm. I'm saying I go around giving the name out because I'm trying to be careful. And why did you come here again? <laughs> He's just like, mm, stares. Uh, um, because a lot of things have happened. I've seen a lot of things happen to all of us lately, and I'm scared, and I've known... I've known that he's been here for a while, and I've wanted to come to him for a while. to collect golden children. That's not... Uh, 
we or yeah i mean we were gonna ask and see if they want to stay in noel's shop do you think he would <laughs> uh i don't know considering what ends up happening to him wouldn't it be a good idea to keep him away you mm. <laughs> the thing about him is he's a little Difficult? Knock him out! <laughs> try. I, I could always try, you know. <laughs> try. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we can't afford for him to keep making risky decisions. Um, especially while the other one is out there going around doing whatever the hell he's doing um also considering that apparently look, look i'm all for whatever sort of safety we can get to him but <sighs> he like i said he's difficult he's stubborn and uh i'm worried that they already know him like, they don't just me. know he exists, but they know him. Believe me, I'm already worried about that, too. Uh, mm. Did there... Would it be safe to see him right now, then? You know what I mean? Like, we're always being watched. They apparently knew where we were because... The well, Noctis they... was approached. The same thing could be said about you coming here to your family. <sighs> Too late for that now. At this point, you guys hear a little bell go ding, 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 and then a knock of someone at the opposite side of the workshop. Um, you would know this, Chang, as someone is here to either ask for something done, like this is a customer. So you, you hear the footsteps of your grandfather kind of coming back into workshop and kind of giving you both a look um he's like one second and he goes over and opens opens the door oh, oh can't i hide my shit first grandpa <laughs> he doesn't care he doesn't care he's like i'm and he's just like scrambling like whoa <laughs> You know, Literally. like, if there's a job, your grandpa's gonna fucking take it. Um, there's a yeah, woman on the other gonna, side. Gonna, like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you guys gonna skitter out of the, uh... <laughs> I wanna spy on grandpa. Who yeah. Here? <laughs> okay. Um, there's a young lady on the other side. She has a large, um, brimmed, uh, blue hat and, um, brown hair, um, and she kind of comes over and hands your grandfather what looks to be like a small like thing he opens it and you see that he's counting money closes it walks over looks around chang where's that uh the box for uh eldrin have you seen it <laughs> uh Are you no, gonna tell them? Because you moved it. You moved it. Maybe they're doing it earlier. You don't know. But can you trust that's the right person it's supposed to go to? Are you asking your grandfather? He's asking you a direct question to get the box. <sighs> this is your grandfather. Okay. Yep. I hands guess it over. That box. Okay. Hands it over. Grandfather picks it up, looks it over, nods, kind of ties the top, gives it to the woman who just kind of smiles, tucks it under their 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 arm, peeks around the corner at the both of you, gives you a wink, and turns around and leaves. Hold up. What? I'm guessing, I'm guessing she didn't look, like, familiar to either of us at all. No. That's the concern! <laughs> no, nope. it's just a tall female, uh, blue hat, brown hair, long brown hair, kind of wearing like a blue dress. 
you're gonna leave your grandfather just closes the door picks through and you see him take out the receipt that was in the little envelope and go over to the ledger write down pick up go into another place file put the receipt in and then walk away to the back with the money to probably put in the safe Chang Lake um, whispers to um, B and he says, I don't suppose Venry knows how to shape shift <laughs> because that was his box. Eh. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I've never known him to be able to, but uh, could have. I mean, <laughs> she kind of shows she has the ring on, so it could have been a. I mean, <laughs> weird, but. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Could have also been. <clears throat> He's also with uh, another one, so it could have been her. Okay. I don't know. I could ask. That is. Well, that's not why. Probably... Why, why I'm here, but I can always, if I, when I, um, I could. I guess we'll find out when you see him. Maybe she'll be there. She'll be there. <clears throat> and I'm sure she's going to have a lot I mean, of that great one. Things I mean, that say. one. <laughs> the one that was just here. That one, I don't know. I thought you were talking about the other end. No, no, I'm talking about the lady that was just here. I, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm over here thinking, should they follow her? It's up to you, but you can hear cooking and stuff in the background. Your mom is getting a dinner together for you guys. That's mean. <laughs> uh, um, Just saying. Saying? <laughs> you never mm. answered me when I asked about... Uh, Orlagria. <laughs> Orlagria. 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 You never answered yeah. me about that. I that I need to. How can I get there? Well, there's you either. <laughs> what? Well, you can either wait for the connection, or you can travel by blimp. Why? If you have a broom, like somebody we know. Technically, I can turn into a butterfly. Might take you yes. a while, though. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, uh, like thinking the logistics, like, wait. <laughs> we'll take forever. Yeah. And that, honestly... <clears throat> I don't really know how long I I to hmm, I don't know. I I came here for a reason and I'm afraid that the longer I wait I'm going to talk myself out of something. Okay, do you want to go right now? Is it safe to go alone? Oh, no, Chang, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, because, like, they're going to kill me if I lose track of you. <laughs> uh, and if I, I lose track of you, I also lose the only connection I have. Everybody else. This was the female that you guys saw at the door. Ha. Hmm. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna like reach to her her neck and just like hold on like super super tight her knuckles are like white to the necklaces that she has <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't know. I just, I came here for a reason, and I don't know how many days we have to be here. 
and I'm scared that if I don't go, I'm going to talk myself out of something. And then if I do go, then I might not want to come back. Or if I do go, something will go wrong. And then I definitely won't want to come back. But also, I don't know. I already fucking told him I'm here, so I can't not go now. I guess he'll he'll want to notify his family then if he's skedaddling, because he's not gonna like keep over so because you don't have to go. You can stay. It'll be it's faster a... if I go. You'll get there faster if I go. I've been there all the time. At this point, Key, you hear a voice in your head. Okay. Aren't you gonna follow, little rabbit? He's waiting for you. Oh, I don't like that. <clears throat> what was it? You okay? Well? <clears throat> um... Can I do a message again? <laughs> See if I can get a hold of him. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please roll percentile. God. Okay. 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 Don't fail me. Don't fail. Me. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of what this is. Did you get a one hundred? Because I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Hang on, you'll see what it is because <clears throat> I'm amused. <laughs> it's fair. I'm scared now. It's fair. I'm like sweating. I'm like literally sweating. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rain, man. The rain's just making all the brain all kinds of foggy. Some foggy twoggy. Foggy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would you like to say? Someone, uh, hang on. <laughs> Someone just came by and took a box with your name and told me to follow and that he is waiting. Do I trust it? I'm sorry, a box from where? No. Nothing, never mind, forget it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. I don't like that. Chang, like, is, can Chang see her, like, make these messages? Because she's just like. <laughs> yeah, this, this is out loud. She is doing that out oh, loud. Okay. She's just like, what is happening? Well, you've seen her use this communicator thing before because yeah. phoenix phoenix has it um and mari technically has one of these as well so jealousy's counting something <laughs> Fenry wanted me to reach out he said you sounded panicked what do you want Fucking messing with my mind! <clears throat> I'm sorry? Oh my god, you're so annoying. <sighs> you're here, right? Yes. What about a package with his name on it? Mm. Oh, it wasn't her. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hang on. <laughs> mm. 
there was an order with his name. Someone came and picked it up. Oh. I'll tell him you misspoke. What's that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? I don't like the tone of this little girl. Okay, 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 okay. So Chang is probably literally just seeing Key, and she's literally just like, <laughs> like her face is just like freaking out. Like, just like just let the wrong person walk away with that fuck. I swear to God. To know what's in that box. He's like, what just You never looked in the box. I'm so upset. He wants to see East like I shouldn't have let the box go. I should have peeked inside. Back. Okay, 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 okay. I need to go to the place that I was told to go. Okay, I'm tired of these fucking mind games. I just need to fucking go. Again, I'm gonna talk myself out of this if I don't. I already said we need to go. Let's go. I know you did, but then fucking st st everyone's talking to me in my brain and my mind, and I just I, don't, I, don't, I, I guess it's important, Chang. It's important. I just don't know how. <sighs> All right, let's go then. We need to go. We need to go right now. I'll just let them know. We'll be back at some point. I'll whatever. Let's. And we're gonna take a break from you guys. Have a chat between the two of you. Figure out your plan. Figure out what you want to do. We're gonna go to Noctis, Phoenix, Asa, and Killian. Good, because he needs an emotional break. <laughs> yeah, I, I assumed that. I saw the panic in your eyes. Plus, we've been going with you guys for about an hour and a half, so. Hello, other group. You guys are currently camped out. <coughs> and, uh, Phoenix, you got to be with your little flower friend for a little bit. Look at a little Malsy, a little baby. Um, so the, the plant next to you had shriveled, and you were able to pick up the leftover bulb and stow it away. Because Zylo just kind of was like, I'm with you. I'm here. And, uh, not this. And Asa had a dusk -a date <laughs> And it was cute. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so in the morning, everyone is able to wake up. You eventually wake up as well, Noctis. Um, Asa is a little bit behind you and then wakes up all groggy. Killian has made food for everyone because they stayed in their little, their own little section <laughs> all by themselves for as long as they possibly could. Um, you guys technically have another day, day and a half, depending on how fast you go and if you run into any issues, to get to Albeed. So. All right. Do, um, do we know, like, with all our traveling and shit, um, do the realms run on different times? You guys haven't really been able to figure it out. Sometimes you guys have been a little bit more, like, sleepier when you guys have gone to different realms. So you have a feeling that the timeline between each of the realms is probably, like, the time is, like, going between time zones. Okay. So it is, it, it is a little bit different you're not quite sure how different time is between each of them but there is a little bit of a time difference all right um so like the first thing noctis is gonna do when he wakes up is um <clears throat> send a message to key okay um and he's just gonna write i don't know if you've talked to him yet but if you haven't good luck you got this cool and that's it he will not receive this until the next day. You are still on day oh, one. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are on day two for the travel group. All right. So you guys are getting all together. Asa's going to kind of look at Phoenix, kind of gauge where she's at. 
How is Phoenix looking right now? Still like mopey? Still kind of like hoof leave me she's alone. Not, she's not as mopey because of you know Zylo and mm -hmm. everything. She kind of, I think she's feeling a little bit better. Okay. She's kind of like. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Um, he is going to. He's gonna like motion. He's like, do you want to your coffee or anything like that? Sorry, I had a moment. Um, I guess I'll have some coffee. All right. You see him kind of go over. He's like, want any sugar in it or cream? No, just black is fine. Okay, he, he pours it, puts it in a small little container and hands it to you. Um, start kind of packing up your guys' stuff. He kind of has to pull some of his shit from under the wagon, because that's where he slept that night, was under the wagon. <laughs> um, <laughs> darkness. He didn't want to be wake, woken up because of the light shining down. He knows what he's doing. Um... So you guys are getting everything together. Um, Killian is getting everything together. Do you guys want to say anything to each other? Are you guys just kind of going about the day quietly? I feel like Nyx would go up to Noctis and be like, so how was Deska? Because she saw the flower. Yeah. <laughs> um... He's like, he's gonna like glance over at Asa and then back to Phoenix. It's pretty nice for a change. Like, I wanna see if she sees the look. Hold on a second. 15. I doubt that Noctis is like covering like... up the look, but. I oh no, no. Is Noctis like full, like. I had a good night. Like, it was legitimately a good night. Yeah, no, he's not He's not being shy about it or anything. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think how to word it. Like, last time I was there, I saw some interesting people. Did you run into anybody? This time? Yes, this time. No, just... Just also. And let's go. Yeah, she kind of guided you over making sure no one's gonna fuck with you this time. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess technically Zylo. Mm -hmm. Because she let me in. But... Well, yeah, I know she let you in. I saw the flower. <laughs> Just curious, I guess. I... Last time I was in Duska, I saw I saw Valish, so I just wasn't sure if he ran into anybody else. Shit, he's still alive. I saw him in Duska, so I'm assuming. I didn't really talk to him though. He didn't really want to be bothered. I just kind of walked into like this cottage thing and he was like looking at pictures that had like clockwood and marionette in them and then he, mm. he found out i was there and he kind of like left so like i know he saw me because he like kind of gave a little like nod at me but then he just left and i just let him go interesting well <clears throat> I guess, uh, I guess it's good that we know he's alive. I guess. Yeah. Means the veil hasn't got him yet, at least. Fair. What'd you say, Cassie? You're like lagging and cutting out for me. Done. Let me do the thing. 
Is it better? I can hear you just fine. But I've been hearing everyone pretty okay. Really? Sam, can you um, hear her? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. You cannot be back up. The cat's gonna knock over my computer. Hold up. <laughs> I don't remember right. what I said. Oh no. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't I didn't hear what you said, so <laughs> nothing of importance. That's okay. Alright, so you guys are gonna all climb back in and um Killian is again at the at the lead, getting the horse ready to pull carriage and the wagon that you guys are in. Um he had reapplied the enchantment for another 24 hours on the wagon so it does look like it's just piled with stuff but that cloaks you guys within so you guys are able to feel at rest knowing that people can't see you when you're in the wagon cool um while they're traveling um noctis is gonna like kind of turn to killian and uh ask him have you have you been to these ruins before? And the ones that you're talking about right now, no. Um, but <clears throat> I have tried a few times of getting up there. I don't really know how to. How how high would you say they are? <sighs> At least two hundred, maybe two hundred and fifty feet up. To the first one, at least. That's oh, not too far. Because there are exactly three large islands. There's okay. a smaller one, a medium-sized one, and then the largest, which is at the very top, which I'm assuming is at least a thousand feet. Oh, God. Okay. Mm. It's very, Just trying to figure out very high in the air. Trying to figure out how we can get everyone up there. That's why I think we should go to Albeed first. We can uh, talk uh, talk about see if there's any anyone with some maybe underground knowledge. Um, kind of looks at you and then to Asa and then to Phoenix. We might be able to find someone who might have information. I, I... I do have my flying broom, but I don't think I can carry all of us on it. Which I believe you do need all of us to go along. Yeah. Yes. He kind of goes back to. As you guys are in the wagon, are you paying attention to your surroundings or are you occupied? Yeah, I'll look around. All right, cool. Yeah. Roll perception for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's not bad. Better than killing Seven. you. Seventeen. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> What's wrong with my voice today? <clears throat> hey, I mean, I did the same. Hey, Phoenix and Asa are the same. You guys are looking around. Um, you guys, as you get over the green looking hills, you guys see what looks to be a vast, vast desert. And it starts getting hotter and hotter the closer you get to this location. Ew. To the point that you guys are sweating. Like, it's a sauna. No. Um... Noctis and Asa are definitely having some issues considering <laughs> the sun hates them. Um, so Asa kind of has like their cloak over them, but has like taken off some of their gear because it's so hot and gross. And he's just like, <gasps> <sighs> like he is miserable. You're kind of doing a little bit better, Noctis, because you have your hat. But, like, even still, you're also, like, 
<laughs> he probably you probably point, like he... undone like your corset a little bit yeah because, like it's everything is getting sweaty um phoenix you've probably taken off a few layers that you're wearing because it's bad it is really up there so you guys are just like your dog is in there odin's like <sighs> <laughs> like poor baby is just panting away um yeah it's it's not just like i hate this place <laughs> <laughs> yeah just also just goes i hate it too <laughs> just like just <laughs> nodding just like oh my god um let's see is killian gonna be nice I guess he's gonna be nice, okay. Um, seeing you guys like this, Killian puts his hand out with a little bit of um, what looks to be water that he had gotten, and it's like in his palm. And in between all of you, there's a small patch of empty space. He just makes what looks to be like an ice spire in the middle <sighs> that emanates a little bit of coldness, and you guys immediately are just like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> like on the ice as it's slowly melting from the sun <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are just like oh my god and once in a while you see him kind of like do something for himself on the side and he just kind of leans on it it is brutal like how hot this location is it probably would have made more sense for you guys to keep going throughout the night and then sleep while it's hot because it's going to be cooler in the desert at night than it is during the day. So right now you guys are baking. Like real baking. I need someone to roll straight d20 for me. Yeah, that was a 16. Perfect. Alright, let me... Sam, roll another mm. d20 for me. Oh, no. <laughs> Two. You Not guys, in the distance. No. Hear what looks to be a mass amount of a windstorm kicking up. And sand is absolutely going <laughs> around where you guys are as you guys see something from across the way arise from the ground. And being that the wind is whipping around, Killian has to slow the horse down. And slow the horse down and slow the horse down before like squinting and looking around and he kind of shakes his head a little bit and goes i can't go forward it's it's too much i can't see even with my glasses on we're gonna have to stop <laughs> but if we yeah, stop that... we might get stuck in the sand what should we do Oss is like what the fuck I don't know what to do. And that's when you guys hear from the sides the <laughs> some crackling and groans of an unknown source slowly walking towards the sides of your wagon from both sides. What the fuck? Both sides. Both <laughs> sides. So your left and your left and your right. Cool. I don't have anything for this. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Killian, do you know what this is? Um, could be anything. I I can't see, so I can't see exactly what the creature is. But there's something coming. I don't know. Do you want to maybe hop in the back here with us? <laughs> we should do something with the horse. What should we do with the horse? Uh, 
<laughs> you guys are in a, a, a sandstorm, basically. If you guys stay in one place, the sand is yeah. going to start to cover you guys. You yeah. guys have to move. If you don't move, you will be covered. But you guys don't know what way you need to go. So you guys can either go, well, you can fight whatever's coming, or stay. All we, right. we, we might we might as well just fucking just keep going. We'll you you, it out you when the, the storm clears. All right, you, I need. Or he's gonna real fast. He's gonna say. Um, he's gonna tell Killian just focus on keeping the horse going. Okay. We'll deal with the creatures or whatever the fuck is coming at us. Okay. Okay. I got to use my new dice, guys. Yay! Oh, boy. You guys can still hear the... As it's coming from either side of you guys, as Killian is desperately trying to get this horse to go forward. You guys can tell that the horse's eyes are closed because there's so much sand that's, like, getting into its eyes. It's just, it's trying to go forward. Um, Noctis is gonna hold his cape out to, um, Killian so he can, the, the horse isn't looking anyway. Yeah. So he might as well cover them both up. Okay. Um, Killian is, whoosh, and the horse tries desperately to go forward. Um, I need you guys to also roll perception to see whatever the hell is coming at you. Okay. Oh. Oh, that is my perception is plus three. Yeah, that's a dirty twenty. Okay. Uh, nineteen. Cool. You both see a large creature emerge a little bit in the distance that you guys can see, kind of through the storm, almost humongous. This is ginormous. You guys see its mouth open it has rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of sharp looking teeth as it dive down into the sand itself it looks like a gigantic worm of some sort yeah i called it i called it <laughs> yep <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> yeah. um and you guys hear we are going to do some rolls, my friends, because you guys are trying to outrun this creature in a sandstorm, which it has definitely has a, you know, a little bit more of a question. Yes. Um, how long is how long is the cart? The cart, like the, yeah, like with the with the horse and everything. Oh, with the horse and everything. I would say the horse itself. It's about eight feet tall. Like long. Yeah. Length, no, it would be eight feet lengthwise. It's about six feet tall. So that's about eight feet for the horse alone. Okay. And is then, Killian riding the horse? Killian yeah, riding is the horse. on, not on the horse. He is oh. still on the wagon. Because oh, the he's on the wagon. Oh, yeah. I thought he was like riding the horse. Okay. No, no, no. This that, this doesn't work. Then never mind. Yeah. No, he's <clears throat> he's so he... not on the horse itself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then never mind. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at another. It's about you guys are like in another like eight feet wagon. So you guys are technically sixteen feet long. Okay. I was thinking about doing something, but I not right now. Okay. So you guys can hear, and you guys can definitely tell that 
there's two of these worms, one on e either side of you. They're literally coming in this way towards you. Um, I'm going to have you guys roll for your deities. So roll d d20, oh. see if they can assist you. Uh, 13. Uh, contact Sco. Nope. Sco. Yeah, that might be nope. five. Let's try for Xylo. 18. 18. Roll a d8. <sighs> oh my god, oh my god. Three. Roll a d4. Oh god, um... Uh, where's my triangle ones? Please. <laughs> you need a one or a two. Oh, Jesus. That's a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, in the middle of this, Noctis, you're trying to cover people with, like, your little cloaks and stuff so that the wind, like, the sand isn't getting in their, in their, <laughs> in their way. Phoenix, you see this huge worm on the side go, and you're like, <laughs> Silo, best bud, <laughs> friendship. <laughs> we got two of these monstrosities on either side of us. Can you please help me out in any way? Um, I would like you to roll a percentile dice that will dictate what she does to assist you. So that's one of these and one of these. Yes. That. That's a 20. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Uh, different things. Hang on. Okay, not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. So. You are, you are in the middle of a desert, so, I mean, it, it makes sense. Um, you watch along the sides of your wagon, attaching themselves to the side of this wagon, are very sharp-looking cacti that start to just kind of grow off the side of the wagon. The pincers, like little, the little... Pokey pokes, mm -hmm. they seem almost steel like. Like, if something were to try to run up, it would into them. But you also watch as long tendrils form from the ground in different locations and seem to be trying to get in the way of something in the distance. You don't know if the, what she's doing will help exactly, but she's definitely fucking trying. But you don't know if what she's doing will it actually help. Sam! Killian is uh -huh. having a very, very hard time getting this horse to go faster. He rolled a 14 for his animal handling. If you would like to assist him, you can try. I'm just gonna, I'll take Tannic him and just put my arms around him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he kind of like looks at you, motions you to take the reins because you see him grabbing into his bag and getting components out for larger looking spells. God. Uh, He's, he uh, wants you to take over, which means you have to roll an animal handling. Shit. He's gonna be like, I wouldn't trust me with this, but all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll take over. Yeah. He, he is going to basically try to locate these sandworms, and he's going to be chucking fireballs at them. So. <laughs> as, as Noctis climbs over, he's going to be like, I've never even seen a horse until a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of gives you this look like, don't want to hear that right now. <laughs> Um, even Asa is, like, in the back, and he's like, I can't fucking do anything. <laughs> like, why, why, why doesn't he take over? He does not have good animal handling. <laughs> Me neither. But you're also 
not doing much right now, so I'm giving it to you. Oh, I mean, I was going to attack. I had my oh, spells ready. Okay. Because I can long range. Well. But he'll he'll try. Because, I mean, Asa's like. Yeah, he can't do anything. He legitimately can. can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a natural one, so. Um... This, this horse stops in its tracks as you guys seeing these tendrils of, like, vines come out and are trying to go, and you guys see Killian getting a spell ready, and he's gonna go for the right one. I need you guys to roll initiative. Okay, new dice. Se 17? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Initiative... 18. Okay. Um... 21. 21, nice. Okay, let me roll for Killian. Let me roll for Asa. Damn, Asa, you're not doing great, bud. Oh, no, no, he actually did good. I forgot that he is a plus eight to his initiative. <laughs> All right, and at this, we're going to take a 15-minute break. Perfect, because i got to pee. I do, too. <laughs> and then we're going to be right back.
they're aware. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know, they better not die. But just in case they die, then we're aware. Our characters yeah. won't be aware, but we'll be aware. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will sit there like. <gasps> he uh, just doesn't get a response from Noctis God. That would be so bad. <laughs> Christ, her anxiety mm-hmm. just already is high enough, and then it just like. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh All right. So All right, I'm muting. Bye, guys. Good luck. Welcome. My dears, to a battle that's been long needed. Hasn't been going on for quite a while. Top of the round, Noctis. Mm hmm. The horse is currently stopped because Killian, of course, is going to go up and try to do a fireball. And then you guys are going to swap. He's basically going to try and swap between you and him. That is going to be his action. Is Once he's done doing his attack, he's going to take over. And then you can do your attack. Oh, what? Noctis is... Okay. Noctis is going to be like... Um... I said, you, t- you should take the reins. And he's, he's like holding <laughs> the reins. because the, the horse fucking stopped because he rolled a natural one. Yeah. Um... So he's just gonna stand there with the reins in his hand and he's going to cast okay um i can see the worms kind of right yeah it's it's hazy because it's through the the sand that's whipping around everywhere you guys because you guys are in the middle of a sandstorm mm-hmm. yeah. um so but you can see them okay so i'm gonna cast murder of crows okay on the one to our left, I guess. Okay. Okay. Because <clears throat> he's left-handed. Why not? All right. Um, and that's a deck save. Okay, that is a deck save. All right. Let's see what this bastard gets. That's a seventeen. God damn it! He saved. Yeah, so this big, huge guy just kind of rears up and just like <laughs> before seeing this as you gather your hand and let loose as a basically tornado of crows emanate from your hand towards this creature as it moves its head <laughs> out of the way. How does this giant ass worm say? <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> All right. So unfortunately, so you are holding the reins out to Asa. Phoenix, you are next in line. <laughs> How far away are these worms? Um, so I would say cuz this isn't correct. No, this would be correct. This is this is about as correct as it can be. So they're about that one's about 65 from you. This one's about 60 from you. <laughs> I'm looking to see. So I want to... The one on, I guess, the right side, because Asa's on my left, so the one on the right side, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the, the thingy. Okay, okay. And I need D6. I mean, if any if if any group were to be doing this, you guys are probably the best group to do it because you guys are magic based. <laughs> Except Asa. Awesome. Except for Asa. Awesome. <laughs> well, I mean, technically he does have a little bit, but he can't do much. Uh, a 
dex, I think, dex save. Okay. It is. Uh, he rolled a nine. Dex save is 15. So, so he failed, so he gets the damage. Alright, so we have... Twenty-four. And that was to the right worm. The right worm, yeah. Okay. Cross is on the left side, so I don't want to. I don't want to hit him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Asa hears you say this, Noctis, and he is going to run up and take the reins from you. He is nervous as all hell, and he is going to try to get this fucking horse to go forward. I need to try that again. That was cocked. He rolled a 19. The horse is starting to go. Nice. So, Asa's in control now. He is like, <laughs> Um... He, of course, can't attack because his action is to get the horse to go. So next is Killian. Killian, of course, is definitely going to do a goddamn fireball. <laughs> and this one makes sense for him to do a fucking fireball. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is... Oh, wait, that doesn't need... That's a dex. So that is... Uh, da, da, da. So that's plus two. Six, six, six. He just... Oh, fuck. So he... You guys see him let loose. You've seen this before. <laughs> Fire from his hand as a lob... A ball lobs towards the one on the left. However, you guys watch... <clears throat> as this guy moves a little bit out of the way <clears throat> so he only receives half damage <laughs> which is stupid <laughs> Oop, I hear the thunder so that's 13 points of damage instead of the regular okay <clears throat> Next in line, that's gonna be the worm on the left. So you guys watch as this, this worm crashes into the ground and comes up right next to your guys' area and it is going to try okay. to hit this area. So that is basically he's attacking the wagon, so this is going to affect everyone. Ugh. But he misses because that is a four. Even with his plus. Mm -hmm. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, I know, does not hit you guys. So luckily, you guys are all able to stabilize the wagon as the horse is trying desperately to keep going forward at this point. It's probably just a little bit off. Now it's the right worm. He is going to, you guys see him come up, go into the ground and start tunneling under the ground and come up here. He is going to try to go after the horse. Oh no. He also misses. Oh. <laughs> Rip our horse. My god. <laughs> well, like, I'm looking and I was like, okay, hole. okay, okay. And he fails. <laughs> Just by one. He misses. Good. So he goes in for this big bite attack and your horse, like, veers a little bit, making you guys kind of all jostle in the wagon as it, you guys are shifted slightly to get away from this group. So you guys are all now shifted slightly this way. All right. Top of the round, Noctis. Asa has taken over for you. You can now let go of the reins and do your attacks. All right. Um, oh, excuse me. 
Um, Noctis is going to hop back down the, into the wagon. Okay. And he's going to uh, slap us on the ass. He's like, good job. <laughs> <laughs> he, he lets out a yelp. He goes, oh! <laughs> uh, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> he wasn't expecting it. <laughs> This is a tense um, situation. And, gonna... <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to send two Eldritch Blasts at the closest worm. Alright, so it's going to be on the left side. Please roll to hit. Yes. Uh... That's the wrong dice. That's the one. <laughs> Well, the first one was a natural one. That's what my third natural one, or my second natural one. Yep. Today. Sounds about right. Okay. Okay. Um, where's my? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was a two. So it's an eleven to hit. Ah, uh, to hit the sandworm, doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm... Wow. So you're... You miss. To go again, and you just go wide as you are trying to not get knocked off from the other one going after the horse. I hate my life. Sorry. <laughs> um, would you like to... <laughs> do you have a bonus action you can take? Nope. Okay. Next is Phoenix. Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> um. Wanna use. I guess the fire firebolt. Okay. So. Uh, I want this one. Oh, yeah, that definitely. Um, so that's a 25. Yep, definitely hits. <laughs> and then 2d10. I can math. 17. <laughs> and that was to the left one or the right one? Oh, the closer one, the right one. Okay. Or closer Technically, to the left one is closest, because the right one's yeah, going closer. after the horse. Yeah, it's closer to me without moving, because I'd have to move around Noctis so I don't shoot him with the firebolt. Got it. And that was 17? <laughs> that was 17. 17 points of damage. All right. It <laughs> rears back, and you hear this... <laughs> coming from its mouth um, as it lets out this very angry Asa is going to try to get this horse to fucking dash. Go, buddy, go. Okay, that definitely works. Um, and he is, so you guys see Asa kind of hunker down and he goes, brace yourselves! And he kind of gets down and he whips on the horse and the horse immediately starts to run like it's full out galloping now trying to get through here pulling you guys so you guys are getting a little bit faster um killian's turn killian what are you gonna do killian probably another fireball let's do a, a larger fireball shall we actually we're gonna do a lightning bolt that's 96s Damn. All right, he's gonna do the one that's currently trying to go after you guys' horse. That is an 18. That... So that means the worm gets out of the way, unfortunately, because that's a dex save. And he needed an 18. So you guys watch as Killian starts to wrap some wire around his hand and whoosh, lightning crackles and starts to go towards the worm, but it goes wide and just goes above the head of the worm instead of striking him down, which he is pissed about. How are these worms so dexterous? Dude. 
I'm looking at their stats right now. And they've just been rolling really good. Because <laughs> they're not that de dexterous. I'm going to steal your dice and give you my cursed ones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're more than welcome to try. All right, now it's going to be the left worm. Left worm is going to try and come down on you guys. He's directly going to try and go after you, Noctis, because you are currently the closest. Um, oh. So... He is going to try and do a bite attack. That's a natural 20. Of course. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not going to die. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Cause I'm not using all of the Cause Cause if I were you were Oh my god. You look would, look you at would. all those dice she just grabbed. Um Oh hang on, I need to get my thing. <sighs> Here we go. Okay, oh. So I'm gonna cut the amount that you're supposed to have, which is normally um, 16. Mm. So I'll do 8 instead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. eight. Oh. 16. I have a health potion on me, guys. <laughs> I, I hope you do. Um, 16. Twenty-nine points of damage. Oh, okay, I'm so glad. But remember, I, I I took only half of what it was supposed to be, and I didn't add the extra things that were supposed to be on it too. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, so uh, on the bright side, this worm comes down and. You, all you see is the rows and rows and rows and rows of teeth as it comes down and you put your arm up and it comes down and gets your arm and lifts you up for a moment off of the wagon and then lets you go as you come back down. Panting. You're like, oh. yeah, it, it hurts. Next is the other worm. Which is going after the horse. That is a natural like one. He fucking misses. You guys don't have a healer on hand. Nope. But you do have the, uh, the bag o potions that, uh, Asa has. <laughs> Alright, so he misses. Noctis, top of the round, your turn. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, well I missed it, never mind. It's fine. Um Okay, well I'm just gonna try and blight this bitch. Alright. Alright. What die should I use? <laughs> I'm afraid. Hmm. Oh, just kidding. It's it's not a, a roll to hit. Um, the worm has to make a constitution saving throw. Eleven. Ah, it fails. Okay, it failed. You're going after um, one on the left, right? The one that bit the you? One, the one that just bit me, yeah. Yeah, what a fucker. Okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. So it's gonna take ninety-eight. That's good. That's good. That's good. I just gotta find some d eights. Two, three. Four. 
Right, so that is 53 points of necrotic damage. Damn, all right. Take that, bitch. So, um, let me double check something. You actually get to double that damage. It is vulnerable to necrotic. Oh, hell yeah. So another 53, so... So it takes 106 damage? Yep. <clears throat> Holy shit. So, as you release... <sighs> You see that it rears back even more and lets out that horrendous, like, <laughs> in a painful manner as Killian looks over his shoulder at you and goes, what'd you just use? I just blighted that bitch. <laughs> Excellent. And, um... Perfect. Technically, also, when you used your thunder thing, your lightning, it also doubled that, too. So that was another 17 on top of that. So it is Man. vulnerable against necrotic and lightning. Well, the seven, the 17 was the firebolt. Oh, well, then never mind. Um, was it the 24? Was the 24. Was the yeah. 24. So that one also needs okay. to be added. Okay, so four, five, four, five, six. There we go. Ooh, okay. All right. So you guys kind of get the idea of lightning and necrotic is going to fuck this thing up. <laughs> All right. So after Noctis is Phoenix. Let's go. To. Um, let me see the distances right now because that's gonna determine what I do. Yeah, from you and this other guy. Definitely not. Hello. Sorry, I don't know if you saw that flash, but it's just like lightning. Oh. Right <laughs> I didn't. I was looking at the map. 15 feet, right? Oh, it's only 10. Okay, yeah, so then I'm gonna go... You're gonna go after uh, the one okay. on the right? I'm gonna go after the one on the right again, yeah. Roger that. <sighs> and it's a deck save. 13 is what it rolled. It failed, because it needs a 15. All right. Roll your damage! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I have to roll two more because I only have six. Twenty-two. So twenty-two. Yep. So twenty-two times yeah. two. So forty-four. Nine, eight, seven, nine. All right. 
forget. You guys are starting nice. to want, see these creatures. It's like... <sighs> as you release the lightning out and it... <sighs> the purple lightning strikes against it and you see this little aftermath of the shock through it. As it opens its mouth, you see a little bit of lightning <sighs> inside the mouth itself. Asa's turn, he's gonna go, go! <laughs> Let me roll his animal handling. 16, not that bad. Let's see how the horse is doing. Horse is doing good, horse is going forward. So you guys get to go a little bit up more. There we go. I'm gonna move everyone down. There we go. And horse gets to go a little bit further. Cause I rolled really well on that then. Okay. Now it's Killian's turn. Killian, seeing this, is going to kind of nod in that direction. Let's see what is he going to use. He is also going to do lightning bolt. He's going to go for... That one. Okay, cool. So he sees the one that you're going after, Phoenix, and he is also going to go. That one definitely gets him this time so he gets 8d6 and that is 24 24 plus another 24 so that's 48 17 for all right so you guys see Killian after watching Phoenix and the Lightning seems to work a little bit better. They let out another lightning bolt at the same worm that she had done before as it crashes into him. Um, and he rears back again. Um, that is going to be this worm. He is going to try and come up behind you guys. He is going to take a swipe at the wagon itself to try and knock it over. That is a three that misses. So you guys see this worm dives down and comes up onto the side close to where you guys are, but you guys kind of get moved, but you guys push it back down just in time as you guys were almost about to fall over. Now it's gonna be this guy. He's gonna come up. He is going to go after you, Phoenix, because you are in the back. He is kind of going up in the air. Looks like he's going to try and come down on you in the back of the wagon. Fourteen to hit. My armor class is fourteen. Plus you're on the wagon that's moving. Roll a d20 for me. I'm like, if, I don't know how that would work. If, if, it, if it gets, if it rolls your armor class, it hits you. I'm doing some, because you're, because they're moving. Mm. So I'm taking that into account. 13. Okay. You're going to take half damage. Okay. Okay. All right. So that is d8. points of damage. So, 
it comes down as the wagon is just missing and you get pulled back ever so slightly. Your arm is out along with half of your body as it nicks you and you almost fall off of the wagon, but you hold on a little bit and your foot catches one of the cacti and you try to push it up, push up off the cacti of the side to get back into the wagon. You are, ooh man, does that hurt. Top of the round, Noctis. Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Oh, so sorry, they're loud out there. Um. Okay. So, first, Noctis is kind of going to move up here. <laughs> <laughs> um. What she do? Discord froze for me. Oh, okay. Sorry, Discord froze. <laughs> I was like, hello. Um, all right. So I'm just gonna target the worm that bit me again. Yep. Fuck you, worm. And I'm going to cast Toll the Dead. Okay. So it's going to be a save, a Wisdom save. That is a plus the negative one it has is a 15. Perfect. It fails. Cool. So it gets 2d12. Nice. Those are good rolls. Hey. Mm. I got an 11 and a 12, so that is 33. Okay, and it's right? necrotic damage, right? Wait, 23, 23. 23, and it's necrotic, I know so math. it's doubled. So that is 46. You can see it rears back and lets out this big bellowing, like... <laughs> As it seems to kind of try to shake itself back, it seems really hurt. All right, Phoenix, you're next. All right, I'm gonna do the thing again, because it's working. So you gotta do your, your decks. Yep. Oh. It's Dex, so seven, eight, nine. It fails. It fails. Where's my other oh, All right. I can math. Fifty two. On the right one. Again, I don't know if I said How would you like to do this? I don't know, it's lightning. It's lightning. You take your middle finger and blow a kiss. <sighs> as lightning <laughs> erupts from it towards this little worm as it goes <laughs> and you guys all hear a loud <sighs> boom as it encases this worm as it rears up into the sky and starts to fall backwards into the sand, a big <laughs> in the sand, ripping sand up into the air. Congratulations, Phoenix. You killed the sandworm. I don't even have to do that. You're like, yes, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> All right, now it is Oss's turn. He's gonna do another animal handling. That is a natural 20. Asa. 
Awesome. Good Damn. job. It's because I slapped him on the ass. I yeah, gave him some extra good luck. <laughs> oh. Um, and let's do the horse. Perfect. So you guys start going really far now. Much, much farther. Going double time. All right, now it is Killian. Nope, that is the wrong person. Killian. Killian is gonna go. <laughs> He, he is going to try to do this. He would he would do, try to do this. Oh, it failed. <laughs> so you guys, see in the distance. Killian let out his hand and whoosh, turns his hand really quickly as the worm disappears. Just vanishes. Banishment? And in its place oh. is a tiny <laughs> tortoise. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> you should have made it a turtle so it couldn't walk. Yeah, but it's a, it's, it's a tortoise. Still needs to be able to live <laughs> a little bit as you guys are able to get away. But as of right now, you guys are good. And you guys continue to go forward through the sandstorm. And you guys take a breath. Hoping that that's enough. As you keep going forward, the sandstorm slowly dissipates. And you guys let out a slow breath. Congratulations. You survived. You survived. You guys can level up one level. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Finally. How, how I do that? What? It should be the huh. manage levels. Knocked what do I want to level up? Nyx and Asa and Killian. Alright, and while you guys do that, I'm gonna be right back. But, like, I don't know what I should level up. <laughs> because I'm you're, sorcerer and rogue. You're rogue. Because rogue is lower, right? Yeah. Unless you want to learn more spells. You need, you need more sneaks coming up, right? That's what I was thinking, but, like, that's sorcerer, though. <laughs> Do, I can turn you invisible, so that'll help with sneaking. But I am not quiet. Like, my, my sneakies is like, I think it was what, a plus one? Oh, it's it's like my lowest two. one. Oh, it's, yeah, the, what was the plus one? Well, Athletics. It doesn't. I mean, it's not gonna. Leveling up in Rogue isn't gonna suddenly give you more sneak. No. But what I mean is, it gives you more of a chance to get closer to a higher sneak. Well, you can do that. We're going to be at level 12 when you can up your stats. Yeah. But Even what as level a sorcerer. is your rogue? Right now, my sorcerer is a level 6 and my rogue is a level 3. So, oh, that means you just upped your stats for your rogue, right? Because isn't it 3 when you up the... Uh... Oh, if you, if you go to 4, then you can... Add. Yeah, so if you level up your rogue, then you should be able to level up yourself. What? Is it four or is it three, Sam? It's every four. Okay. Let me see. But I don't so, know how it works with double classing. Yeah, I don't know either, because I'm not double classed. <laughs> uh, Key doesn't have enough wisdom to double class, literally. So. Um... But I think it's every four levels, which means technically then... Your rogue would be able to level up at one stealth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Should I do that then? I don't know. I want more spells. Then do that. It's up to you on what yeah. you think you'll yeah, use you the want. most. Like, what do you think... What do you think Phoenix is going to use more of? Yeah. Like, Try to extra... think of, like... With where you think the story is going, I know obviously like you can't know for sure, but 
at least with how things have gone and where it could potentially go, like what I always do is I try to think of what you would utilize in moments like that, if that makes sense. And like leveling up so, your, your sneak isn't going to make much of a difference if you have plus one or plus two, right. so it doesn't really matter. Don't yeah. do it just because of the sneak or anything. So if you want to learn if more spells... Yeah, if there's, like, spells that are higher that you want to learn, then do that instead. And if, especially if you think that you would use that more, then yeah. Go to my character sheet. <laughs> Is Chang class? No. Okay, I didn't think so. <laughs> Dual class, Dual as in class. you have two two classes, so like Phoenix is a rogue and a sorcerer. <laughs> too stupid. <laughs> me too, Ash. I'm like, that's too much math for me. Too much calculation. <laughs> Which is funny, because Key doesn't have enough wisdom for it anyway, so she can't, but, like, I can't handle it, she can't handle it. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys can take the time to level yourselves up, as Asa now is in control, sitting there, like... <sighs> <laughs> and we'll go... to Key and Chang... A. You just got a little, uh, well, a few phone calls in your brain, Key. <laughs> so, yeah. Chang and Key. Where are you going? What are you doing? Well, I think that the plan was that Ch uh, Chang is going to take me. To? The the place that I can't pronounce. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Guys... What is it again? Hang on. I... I it. Because I I saw the comment saying that it's now canon for her to say it like that in her accent, and I agree <laughs> that like she's like I can't I can't say this. It's, it's like it's Orlogria. <laughs> Olog. Olog. Or. Or or oh, or really? or or Lord Gria. Or yeah. Lord Gria? So it's or, or it's so it's like or or log 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 Ria. Log Ria. Okay, so Or Logria. Or 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 so she would say okay, so then if she were to say it then it would be our our log. It's, uh, it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> or Logria. <laughs> Our, because oh, the ors she says is uh, r, so it would be like our lagria, our 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 lagria, our lagria, or lagria. Yeah, it's like okay. or lagria, or lagria, yeah. 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 or lagria, okay. or lagria, so or or lagria, or yeah. or, la or la I can't. Asha, have you ever <laughs> seen Dragon Prince? No, but I've been told to watch it. Uh, about to make a comment, damn it. Make it, because my little sister, my little sister watches these so, and she'll understand the, the reference, so do it, just say it. Literally, there's a character in Dragon Prince that's basically key down to the whole being Irish part. It's really? It's phenomenal. Well, yes. I have to watch so, it. I have to like, watch I it. Just be like, watch clips of her and the accent will stick to you. Like, See, but I always watch uh, interviews with Sir Ronan because that's her face claim, so I always watch the interviews. Yeah, like it's... I could it's I could do a heavier accent, but I usually like I I keep it light and fluffier for you guys because apparently it's hard to understand what I'm saying if I do that the intense uh amount. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> anyway, we're going to our library <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Okay. What would you like to do? Are you waiting for the bridges to go? Or are you guys using a blimp? Blimp time. Blimp time. Alright. 
<laughs> oh, if they're Scottish, that's different. <laughs> Yeah, very different. I swear that was a rogue she was speaking in, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I... Alright. Depends on the part of Ireland. <laughs> Okie dokie. We are back. I'm going to adjust some things real quick. Oh, there we go. Because we don't no, really have a battle map, so I'm adjusting things on here. There I'm we go. Sorry. Battle map. I said we don't have a battle map, so I'm adjusting things. Yes. Uh, never mind. You'll see when you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm making it so it's the video only. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, we don't have a I map. See. But, um, I just, thought you yeah. meant that there was. A, I thought you meant that we didn't have one, and there was a battle. That okay, never mind. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So, <laughs> you guys decide to depart. I would like both of you to make perceptions as you are departing from that, from your guys' uh, house. Well, Chang's house. Uh, King. Thirteen. Okay. I don't know why I said it like that. But it's not even how you say the word, but you know what? <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god, I had this giant ass die. Alright. Oh, 16. Okay. He does not notice. However, Chang god, does. Oh, wait, yay! You're so used to Chang not seeing anything. <laughs> um, okay, well. <laughs> however, as you exit your home and you close the day, the gate, your your chow is outside. Just hoof, hoof. and Chang, as you close the gate, you kind of look at the exit location of where the shop is, where the exit of the shop is, and you notice. The brunette-haired woman leaning against a wall across from the exit area, kind of looking in both directions before you see her whip her hand and in front of her is a little white rabbit before she goes around the corner and leaves, but the white rabbit is sitting there. Chang, are you relaying this to Key? He's booking it for that rabbit. So I hope Key follows. He <laughs> Chang just fucking runs. <laughs> just like, fucking I'm books it. it. Key's gonna be like, um, Chang? <laughs> you then see the white rabbit that they are heading towards. A rabbit, really? <laughs> Chang, you get to the rabbit and it looks at you. It is a white rabbit with red eyes. It kind of blinks at you, wiggles its nose. Um, he's just mumbling to himself, wow, it would be really great if I could talk to animals. <laughs> Um, it seems to be waiting. Key, are you staying where you at, or are you walking over? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was just thinking about that, Sam. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the body python rabbit that- Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I assumed that's what was happening. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Uh, Key's gonna be like, I thought we were gonna go somewhere. Come here. Come here. I'm just... I wanna know what it does. But it's a fucking rabbit, Chang! 
The lady was just here. What? The one. He like with, motions with over the his hat. Head to, like... Yeah, yeah, the hat. Since you know they might be being watched, and the lantern probably ran out by now. <laughs> He's just like. Yeah. Do you start walking over, Keith? Yeah. The moment you start walking over, it and starts to pop mm -hmm. away. <laughs> Chang's like, I'm following it. <clears throat> why? Why are you following it? What's your reason? <laughs> He's like, why not? Because. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> God, chaos. <laughs> because even you said that you were skeptical of that whoever that person was that was at the door, of the shop, or whatever. I'm curious about where we listen. Last time we followed a creature, it led us to some very important information. I know, but that doesn't always happen, does it? I just. Ugh. I didn't come here to follow a fucking rabbit. Hmm. Yeah, but if, what if it leads us to something important? What do you think it's lead us to? That, that, that lady clearly knows one of them. And, uh, I don't see how we could say clearly. Look, when we were standing in the hallway, someone told me that he was waiting for me and called me a little rabbit, which is weird. Wait, 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 say that again? <sighs> when we were in the hallway, I had, like, ten different people talking in my mind. Not ten, but there was a lot going on, okay? There was a lot. And I heard someone say that he was waiting and called me a little rabbit, okay? He mentioned that you were a rabbit? They said they called me a little rabbit. Yeah, they a they female voice told me called you to a follow. Rabbit. Yep. Wait, I am confusion. I don't know what these gifts mean. Don't look at the gifts. Pay attention to Natasha. Make it okay. go away. Only pay attention to Natasha. Don't look at the distractions. Okay. <laughs> that that's how you're gonna get derailed. He's but he's honestly for real, for real curious because he didn't get to look inside the box. And he feels like he should have opened the box. Um, on some level, he wants to know what future Venry is doing. Like, he's well, curious about that, since he knows everything. Is he... And <clears throat> he... Is huh? he saying any of this out loud, or is this no, no, just... No, 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 I'm, I'm trying to explain his, like, the reason... You don't need to tell me anything! Is... You just have to say what Chang is saying. Out loud. No, 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 I know. I'm trying to explain to Tasha why Chang might be, like, following the rabbit despite finding the woman suspicious. Alright, mm -hmm. well, is he gonna- is he gonna tell Key that? Because she, she has to respond to something that you said, but... Mm. I guess he w he would say it, but he would try to be vague about it because the lantern has run out. He doesn't want to, like, outright say names 
or address oh, people like that. I will say if it involves Venry, usually she knows when he's the person implied. <laughs> so if it's implied well, know, a certain way, she'll pick up on it quite quickly. I know, but he's like trying to talk about future Venry without yeah. saying future yeah. Venry. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess he's doing kind of like a game of charades <laughs> because he can't say things out loud. <laughs> he's like, this one, this one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, this one, and then that one. <laughs> like, even though I find this one and does the ham brim suspicious, I'm still curious about, you know, where this leads. And if it has any connection to this one, then he, like, slashes his face. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't come here for that, so... Aren't you... Don't you at least want to know what he's up to? Hmm. Yeah, I do, but he won't fucking tell me, so it doesn't matter anyway. <sighs> it's fair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so basically, Key's saying... We're not looking at this fucking rabbit. We're leaving. Let's go. <laughs> uh, he's so curious about who that woman is. It's not even funny. He's like, what, who is that lady? And no, who that woman is. But again, that's not why I came here. Okay. Okay, fine. How oh, is that I was told to go to this said location that I can't fucking say, and you know what I'm talking okay. about, so All right. I was asked to go there to meet him. Alright. Let's go. All right, so you slowly make your way over to the to the kind of blimp depot, in a sense, and um, it is a copper to get on. I do. It's fine. Easy enough. Okay. I think he does anyway, but I just... it's fine. He yeah. will cover it. <laughs> yeah, easy enough. She's not a She's got it. Yeah, easy <laughs> enough. One copper. Um, and you, this is the first time you've ever been on something like this. Uh -huh. Actually, no, the second time, because there was one in Valentine Valley that you guys went on to. I was going to say, we took one in Valentine Valley, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's very similar, but also not, because there's not many flowers around, as you get kind of pulled up into the air. Um, at one point, all you see is clouds, and it's a little bit unnerving as you are slowly pushed in a certain direction. And you pass over, you can see in the distance, forms of land here and there, some things being moved, moving up and down, some going back and forth. As you slowly get closer and closer and closer to the main direction that you guys are going, and as the fog of this land and smog that covers the very top of it, this makes you kind of cringe, Key. There's a lot of smoke. It smells gross a little bit. Like, you're normally used to fresh air and stuff, but there's smoke. You see smokestacks in the air, lots of things. However, in the very center of this goddamn island, there is a huge clock tower. That looks very fucking familiar. <clears throat> Chang, hustle and bustle. You yeah. haven't been here in a long time, but like they have some interesting stuff here. A lot of their stuff is very much like kind of going into more iron and steel, not more so like the copper and brass kind of stuff that you work with a lot, a lot of the times, but it's like, <sighs> this is this is normal for you. This is this is a good place to like barter, is get it, some information, get some tools and small. stuff. Man, smells like oil and machine and like this is your element. 
like this, like in the middle of a town, lots of stuff happening. You actually can hear like honk honk and like actually some of those like ve little vehicles, you know, but that doesn't have a top on it. It's one of those that are yeah, like crank yeah. made. There's some of those buzzing past you guys. It's a lot to take in. Like, there's no horses. They don't even have the mechanical horses in these ones. At one point, you guys do kind of pass as you are slowly exiting this area. There's what looks to be like a almost a vending machine type of thing. But on top is an electronic looking thing going, Come on, come all, if you are looking for anything. We have it available for you. Snacks, as well as toiletries, as well as... And it goes through like a list of what it has in the vending machine, which is below it, but it's like almost like a half of a robot body kind of thing on top, but it just repeats the same thing over and over every time someone passes it. It's very strange and kind of unnerving because the eyes are, it reminds you too much of Marinette now, but, All right. but it's, oh it's just repeating what it, does like that is what it was made to do it's going through like Can't a recording worry, no big deal Ooh, she disappeared she went bye oh, come back. <laughs> come back. Oh, <laughs> but um no. that's basically what you pass and as you exit the area you it's a hustle and bustle on the streets there are people going back and forth very Victorian area outfits. You see some kids who have what looks to be like, um, like the metal part of barrels they're using and they have that stick that they're kind of hitting it to make it like go down the street, that kind of thing. You see um, some fine looking ladies with some wonderful hats and plumes and feathers and everything as they're walking down and they have some people behind them. Um, one of them looks to be almost like an electric kind of person who is mainly there to just carry their shit for them. And you see boxes and boxes and boxes of things that these electronic servants are doing for them. This is a culture shock. You were fine when you went to Chang's because there was actually some greenery. Mm -hmm. You don't see shit here. There's no greenery, there's no trees, there is nothing here except for cobblestone, ground, you you can hear cuckoo clocks for some reason once in a while that you're looking around and like high up on the top of these places are like little clocks and like little electronic things that just kind of do shit once in a while. Um, there's some... Different little things here and there that, like, make buzzing noises and, like, and there's, like, off to the side, there's another thing that sounds like it's, like, another electronic, like, come on, come all, and see what we have for you, and, like, everything like that, and you're just, like, it's a little bit overwhelming. This is a lot. But you're here. Now where do you go? <laughs> Where exactly? Uh, um, uh, Describe it at least. <laughs> he didn't tell you. I know. <laughs> uh, I, he, I, um, he didn't, he didn't say exactly. He just told me to come to somewhere here. I think. Are we where? Is this? Is this? Uh, yeah. This is. This is it. It's. That's it's an island. Okay, well I've seen that clock tower before, so I I yeah? I don't Yeah. Where? <laughs> Jessica. Uh Gosh. Chang, I would like you to make an intelligence, please. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting like the shakies. <laughs> Why? Because the coffee? I got the coffee. <laughs> Sweating. Gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I was so close to a good roll and then it bounced off my binder and gave no. me two. <laughs> no. No. Wait, wait, that stuff. 
that's a that's a five. Sorry. <laughs> that's interesting. She's seen a clock tower like this in Deska. You saw the clock tower too at one point. Oh, hey, look. One of those mechanical cars. <laughs> he can't help it. There's metal everywhere, and like he can sense all the metal at once. You know. Oh yeah. Like, You're a little bit overwhelmed as well. You're like, bro. <gasps> you could turn it off. You could be like, I don't want to see it anymore. I do not perceive. <laughs> do not want to see it at the moment. <laughs> um. Well, if that looks familiar, let's go that way. I guess. Uh, Chang, you would know that that middle area is called, it's the middle of the island, it's called the Clock Tower Estates. The only way you're getting in there is if you know someone or have the money to get in. <laughs> that oh, is, no, it is very heavily guarded. Oh. And you have to look the part even to enter that location. <laughs> All right. It's like he just stops and his drag's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hang <laughs> on. <laughs> and then, okay, Key's gonna be like, what? It's, it's what? The... What? How do you, like, is there, like, um a physical gesture for, like, saying snooty people? <laughs> I feel like there is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, normally yeah, it's, like, it's sort of like, um, you know, where the uh, people kind of are. People. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're a bit underdressed. I mean, and not I'm, well represented. I am not even dressed for your realm, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Key's getting some looks. <laughs> from people. <laughs> Question, um, because he knows George, would that help him at all into getting to the estates? Have you, uh, have an invitation to see George? Damn it. <laughs> no. Have you notified okay. George in advance that you need, uh, their assistance? Nope. All right, then, then probably okay. not. Okay, new plan, new plan. I mean, I, I can, I do have, I don't know if that's where he is. I just said that I've seen that before. I don't. Oh, okay. Please let him help us out here. <laughs> okay. If, he, if he's so important, it might help. A little. <laughs> <laughs> he means in status. Okay. He's not talking about his <laughs> emotional relationship with you. <laughs> Like Richie Rich boy over here. Maybe he can get us in. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so is Key going to uh, send them a yeah. message? Please roll a percentile. Oh, fuck. Every time I gotta do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so nervous. Oh, okay, hang on. Sorry. 95! <laughs> GA baby. <laughs> okay, what is your message? Uh I think we're here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <is so> <laughs> <laughs> she just looks at her like, wow, that's specific. And what else am I supposed to say? Are aren't we supposed to be careful with our words? You're right, you're right. <laughs> Um, you receive that. Okay, wait, I have to ask, wait, does it continue, like, if you don't use all 25, does it continue, like, when I was talking to Noctis? No, you can, you can, cut, you can okay. cut it off. Okay, good. It's good. just that, like, it's the first thing that you say. Okay, So when okay, you cast okay, okay. it and you just start talking, they're gonna hear mm -hmm. it until you, in your brain, go, oh, wait, stop the message. But then that uses the message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you hear back. Oh, it's not all right. Um, so you're here. Um, come to the Bronze Burrow. I am currently in the Copper Explorer Pub. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna tell Chang. <laughs> God. <laughs> no. What? Oh my 
god, okay. <laughs> He's acting so weird. I mean, it's okay. fine. We're weird together. Mm -hmm. No, no, this is different. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yep, okay, so she's gonna tell Chang where. Okay, so Chang, Do you, know you, where... would, you would know where this is gonna be, so. <clears throat> Let me put it on your map, but say what you were gonna say. <laughs> I was just gonna ask, do you know where that is? You do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've been here a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How convenient. Yep. <laughs> You're like, uh, I grew up here. <laughs> it's so it's so weird because now everything they do, it just feels strange to him. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have an existential crisis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. That kind uh, of feeling. As, as they're walking, Key's gonna kind of, like, look at him and be like, uh, my mind is not entirely focused right now, but at some point, remind me when we get the chance, I do have something I need to tell you that you probably should know. Why don't you just tell me right now? Hmm. Like, write a note or something? I have a memo pad. I always have a memo pad. Hello, this is something that I don't know if we want written down or if... I'll tell you later. Just remind me to tell you the thing and I will probably remember what I need to tell you. Okay. Okay. Remind Remind you. <laughs> <laughs> Writing in the memo pad. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so... As you exit the um, blimp location, see kind of the main area, you are led to the more right side. So it's more of the blue buildings that you see on the map. Um, you go past what looks to be a very large statue. You are able to um, look at the statue to identify what god it's for, or you can continue forward. I want to. You know exactly who this is. You don't even need to oh, look at it. Yeah. Just kidding. Who is it? <laughs> Um, it's Rat, the um, god of law, order, scales, and creation of this ah. location. So. Key's, Key's response was, fuck the gods, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this noise. I hate it. Jay can't, Jay can't say fuck the gods. He has accepted a pact. <laughs> <laughs> We'll continue yeah. on. Um, so as you get closer, <laughs> you guys go past something before stopping. You see a kind of large looking um, three story building. And it has what looks to be like an eye on the outside. And where mm -hmm. the pupil is, is a compass. This is the oh, Copper cool. Explorer Pub. Um, you guys are able. What explorer? The Copper Explorer is normally what it's called, but everyone, its full name is the Copper Explorer Pub, but everyone just call it the Copper Explorer. That's cool. Yep. As you walk in, you can see that um, it has the main bar level, a second level that you can kind of see some of the people up higher, and then it has the third level that seems to be a place where people like sleep or whatever and you see someone coming down in a hurry in a hurry coming down the steps um roll of perception as you guys are looking around as you enter the pub 17 okay and Chang. almost had it and you failed me again Seven. Okay. Um, Chang, you 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 haven't really been in this pub. You you don't go drinking very often. That's true. <laughs> um, That's true. So you've never actually set foot in this place, but you've passed it a whole bunch of times because you think like the logo out front's pretty dope. Um, interesting. Key, you see coming down the stairs is um, Venry. As he comes over to you, stops in front and smiles and goes, Well, I see that you made it. 
Good on you. Um. Chang, right? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, come on, Chang. Uh, Venry, Venry, Chang. I figure. Hey, mate. All right, let's go. Um, upstairs. Uh, do you all want something to drink? We have a couple pints upstairs, but we don't have everything. Are you really asking me if I want a drink? I'm asking you if you want juice. I know you don't drink. <laughs> you say juice makes it sound... No, 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 I don't. I mean, the joke's on you. They have some actually really good stuff. They do actually have a really, really good, um, I think it's like a lavender lemonade type of thing. I think you'd really like it. Um, it is really delicious. Are you sure? Mm. Perfect. Because I already got it. Let's go. And he's going to take you guys upstairs. Um, you guys go up the stairs, but then you guys go up another stair. And you guys enter what looks to be like a private room. Um, this room has a few other people inside of it. Um, you guys recognize, of course, well, Key recognizes a very familiar <laughs> halfling girl in the corner, arms crossed. Leaning against her chair. There's Does papers and maps all over the place, yes? Does she resemble her brother? A little bit more in the face than the hair, as her hair is brown and Amarth's hair was red. But, um... Do an intelligence. Okay. I mean, Key has told like, a couple strange. times about mm -hmm. her anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Bold of you to assume Chang remembers that. <laughs> <laughs> 18. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, you you definitely are putting two and two together. You're like Why? you're probably yeah, you're that bitch. Um <laughs> yeah, friendlier in his tail. Um so you guys see her in all of her glory. She has a little hood. She does have three marks over her eye. Her eyes of course are the gold color. She has that gold shimmer to her skin. She is shorter, and she is currently sitting, leaned back, and she's sharpening one of her daggers. <laughs> she is unamused. Um, also, in this room, there is a few other people as well, of whom yeah. I will post. Sure. I, I do. I'm going to post them. Okay, cool. I'm yeah. Gonna post. yeah, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, let's see if I can find them all, because <laughs> there's a fair amount. Um. Oh, she's so cute! She is very cute, but she's an asshole. Um, it's great. I mean, <laughs> so is Noctis, but here we have Chang, who's like, mm -hmm. wow, asshole pretty. You guys also <laughs> see a pink tiefling. <laughs> you guys also see a purple tiefling. Hold up, did you say pink tiefling? Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Too a... bad Nick's not here. <laughs> God damn it. A half orc. <gasps> and a yeah, we have, like, human as well. What is we have the babe squad over here? <laughs> the Bay <babe> Brigade. <laughs> um, so you see them um, kind of look up. Uh, of course, you see Juniper. Um, and then, of course, um, he kind of motions you to sit down. You see directly where he's asking you to sit. There's a, um, a glass of the lavender lemonade. There's also some pastries as well that are very remnant of home. Um, he kind of motions around. He goes, um, everyone, this is 
Kilarian, she's from home. Um, this is Chang from here. Um, and everyone, uh, this is Zara, this is Callum, this is Raiden, and then this is Sophia. He kind of motions them out. Um, so Zara is the pink tiefling. Zara pink tiefling, okay. Callum is the purple tiefling. Callum is purple. Mm-hmm. Then Raiden is the half orc. Half and then last but not least, a human. Her name is Sophia. Ooh, I misspelled that. <laughs> um, these are part of the uh, gilded cage. They, most of them are. Oh shit. Um. So <laughs> he's he's gonna elbow check. <laughs> like, stop. Sorry. <laughs> he kind of looks over <laughs> and he's like, so many of. <laughs> um. So Sophia, Callum, Raiden, and Zara—they're all part of the group. Um. They've been trying to help me with, you know, trying to crack down on, you know, trying to get some of these kids out of <coughs> what's fucking happening to them. Kind of like what happened to Juniper. We're trying to find out more, bring them down. Um, we could definitely use your help. We found out that a large group um, of the kids are actually under the main estate in, um, place hold in the grove, um, under the capital. He's utilizing them, and, well, Valor is a fucking asshole, and I want to pluck him like a fucking chicken. I'll join. Really? Yeah. Also, guns. Well, he takes out from his holster and, like, spins it. So do I. <laughs> And Great. puts it away. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the best with, uh, if you're able to do any alterations to it, I'd be all for. I don't have much coin, but I know that a few of the things that your grandfather can do have definitely fucking helped me out. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I, I am his, I am learning under him and learning abroad, so I mean... I, yeah. I Funny enough, it. Juniper was the one that told me to go to your grandfather. She said that him specifically would probably be the best one to go to, which totally was the correct answer. He is so suspicious about that. He's trying not to stare at her. Like, interesting. Really? Wow. King and Juniper are just staring at each other like... <laughs> Like, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, she's doing like I'm going to murder you the moment I can. <laughs> like she's like, I what? fucking hate you. <laughs> to, to me, not Chang. Yeah, to to, to say, key. Like, what to key. To this child? No. She's not even giving you a second glance. She's dagger eyes at key. Okay, cool. Because he's just um, looking confused in her direction and then back at Renly, like, what do you mean she was the one that told you to go to my grandpa? Um, but, um, <clears throat> I'm surprised to see you here already. I thought you had a whole bunch of other bullshit to handle, but I, honestly, with you here, I think we can actually pull our next gig off. And he kind of, like, looks at the other people and they're like, yeah, it's possible. And, like, well, we could probably, if we had some more, like, fighters, we could definitely do something. Because in about two weeks is going to be this big, extravagant event. And I know that they're going to send an um, invitation to Chang and try to relay that to their everyone. But it's, like, this big, huge gala event. And if we're able to sneak in, we might be able to go in and procure it, to say the least, um maybe get our hands on if some keys and then sneak below break the kids out <laughs> it's kind of like looking at everyone he's like this is awkward everyone's still quiet 
They're like, we've never seen him so fucking talkative. Like, Chang is just at a loss for words. He did not expect... Everybody's talking about how much of an asshole Renry is, and all he is seeing is this talkative, chipper guy. Like, yeah, let's go fuck some shit up. <laughs> yeah, that, like, like Bim Bam. He's just seeing another Bim Bam. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> he's just taking in every word. Like, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Everyone's like, <laughs> huh? And Raiden finally Everybody like else with two brain cells is like, um... <laughs> yeah. Everyone's kind of like staring at him like. Are you good, bro? Venry, you're good? <laughs> um, Sophia kind of stands up and goes, Yes, we were looking to try and see if uh, we could probably sneak in and... If you bring in the, uh, champions, that would be a very good distraction. Especially for Valor, so he won't <gasps> be on our tail as much. If you are a willing, of course. I'm not quite sure about the uh, specifics, but, uh... We could definitely use your help. Uh... I mean, you said it's in two weeks, right? Zara goes... Well, yes, it is in two weeks. If that's... If you're able to help us within two weeks, we'd be able to, uh... Help you all out, too. We've been working on this case for... Months. Uh... He's, he's gonna look at Chang. <laughs> uh... Chang looks at Key like, uh... <laughs> it's like, wow, we have like a long list of to-dos here. This is just... <laughs> like, already. It's one night. If you're able to come in and come out like you did today... Venry's kind of <laughs> looking at both of you. Chang whispers like, is this what we came here to do? To go to a gala? <laughs> In two weeks. <laughs> In two weeks. He, he, he is gonna out, like elbow him, but really hard this time. <laughs> um, I need you to roll um <laughs> as if you're punching. A punch? Oh, wow. Yeah, because you're doing it because you said very fight. hard, so I mm -hmm. need you to roll mm -hmm. to see if you're gonna you can hit Chang. Oh shit, okay. Twenty-three. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> it's, it's okay. She can't she doesn't have very much strength, so like her very hard is literally if you were to like take damage from it, I think it's two. Damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, <laughs> it's, it's it's two two points of damage. But like, like she's like, not trying to give you points of damage. She's just yeah. like. But since it was that high, I'm gonna say you at least get one point of damage. All right. I You're like fuck. That <laughs> wow. Why are you? What? It's it's like that. Um. Why are you like this? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like you know that. Um. That Ron Weasley puppet going, why do you hurt me? In this way? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you see, I'm gonna have you guys also roll a perception, please, for me. All right. I'm sorry, my thing froze for a second. What did you say? Roll a perception. Oh, well, okay. He sees nothing again. Nineteen. Cool. Uh, you see something very fucking familiar to you, Key. In front of Sophia, with a whole bunch of papers around it. It looks like she's, like, re-sketching this item. It's the item you gave to Guy. Oh, fuck. Uh... <laughs> and you see that she is writing things down about it. She's... She has things. She is, she is investigating this item in particular. <clears throat> but you're like, I know what that is. <laughs> yep. Um, you also see, in front of Raiden, you see ten tarot cards in front of him. You're not quite sure what they are. You're just kind of like, interesting. 
kind of looking at everyone else. Seems they're all working on separate projects that are all going to retain to this larger project they're working on. <clears throat> She's just awkwardly sitting there. <laughs> Just yeah. like she's probably now like looking at the 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 glass and like tapping it. Just like she's Jenny like might be talking to Venry about guns. I don't know. Yeah, depends. You gotta... Do you want? Do you guys want? Do you want to talk gun? Do you want to talk shop with him? Because he is more than happy to talk shop right now. He is. I'm gonna have Key roll an insight on Venry. Oh God! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, that's a natural twenty. <laughs> Oh my god. He's nervous that you are here. What? This is something he used to do when he was, like, younger. When you guys were younger. If he'd get overwhelmed by something, or, like, get nervous about something, he talks. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a talker when he's nervous. Like... Especially if he's like, ah, welcome, hello. Ha! <laughs> oh. mm. He's not his normal cool, cool kid right now. Clearly, yeah. <laughs> I know the feeling, Bendry. I know the feeling. Yeah, he's like, okay, need to bring it down. I need to bring it down. <laughs> Chang is just so curious about this. Yeah. Um, like, he basically um, is, if you guys are talking guns for a little bit, um, he's basically talking about how he was able to obtain his first gun, which he stole from a noble. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was where he originally had come from, which was the gardens. He stole it from someone that was going through the S-O-R-R, -R, stole it off of them. Um, and basically, he's been making small adjustments to make it basically as quiet of a gun as possible. He wants to basically... He eventually wants to make a sniper rifle, but those haven't technically been invented yet. So he's basically I'm being curious. like, he wants to make be able to do a long range, kind of like a bow... But with a gun instead. Hold on. I'm writing that one down. Not gonna lie, Chang's like, oh, really? <laughs> because whatever he's learning about current Venry kind of informs him. Informs him of what future Venry may already have. So he's like, interesting, mm -hmm. tell me more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like, but he's, he's very much like, he finds everything here to be interesting and fascinating to him. This is the first time mm -hmm. he has ever seen him excitedly talking about a topic of any sort. Because he was never interested in anything back home like this before. But for him to actually talk about, like, guns and, like, the manufacturing of them and the creation of them and, like, what they could possibly do. You get the feeling, like, that's why he was never kind of settled at home. Because we didn't have this topic back home. So it's it's kind of <clears throat> small connections are being made. Okay. okay. And from mm -hmm. Key's aspect, Venry's trying to make friends with Chang right now, going over and talking about this shit with him. <laughs> because he knows like that Chang too. has a connection to his grandfather, who his grandfather is whereas he's been getting a lot of his upgrades for his gun and everything. Haha, <laughs> funny you mention that. <laughs> Jay wants to ask him about it, like, huh, so your uh -oh. name. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna say that, but he's so, he, he's gonna butter him up, it's fine, he's not gonna, 
not gonna get to the personal details on the first play date, okay? <laughs> he has some tact. He has some tact. Social tact. So, Key, while they're talking guns, do you want to speak mm-hmm. to any of the other f- five, technically? Uh, um. Oh, God. Yeah? Okay, who would you like to speak to? <laughs> not Juniper. Not Juniper. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk to you either. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. You have Zara. You have Callum, Raiden, and Sophia. Sophia is the one that has the item of Zylo currently. Um, Raiden has a whole bunch of tarot cards in front of him. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to ask about the Xylo item. Okay. Easy. I want to know how much I Yeah. No, 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 you're fine. Yeah. Okay. You're going to so, walk over to Sophia. She is currently writing mm-hmm. some things down about it. Mm hmm. Well, she's just going to kind of like look down and, and be like, What are you working on? I'm doing some investigations about some of the uh, more godly items and everything, so it's uh, trying to understand the possible locations of where the other ones are. Um, what would you need them for? Well, I believe that uh, they may have an ability that may be able to... uh, she kind of looks over at Raiden and Zara and looks at you for a moment and then looks at Venry, who kind of looks off and nods to her to help close the door. We were kind of wondering about that too, actually. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to... Uh, deconstruct the items backwards in a sense so deconstruct it to maybe utilize the uh, abilities that they hold but in a more abstract sense if they were able to have a link to open or close it maybe there's a way just to use it to close it Permanently. I mean, that would probably be a good thing. Yes, I would agree. But, unfortunately, we have only been able to get my hands onto this one, and that one over there doesn't really know much about where the other ones are. Hmm. Unless any of you do. I know that you all have been traveling. Because you are all uh, the champion bullshit, correct? <laughs> Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But, uh, um, you see her kind of like going, she goes down like the spine of it and she sees like the different markings and she's writing them down. She's gotten a fair amount of information about this item specifically. Like, what it does, what it can do, um, who it belongs to, she, you can see it all in her notes, she has it just in common. Like, you all, you can obviously tell these guys trust one another to have all of their information out in the open like this. Yeah. And since Venry trusts you, they in turn trust you guys. It's so nice to be trusted again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so she kind of she's gonna look at the axe and be like, "So that one, what does it do?" Well, this one he's uh, was created by the uh, god goddess of uh, plant life and growth uh, of wood. It can make barriers for you. It can actually uh, in turn also 
make attacks and everything with uh, vines, creations, that sort of thing. Do you know this item? Winky. That is a 24 for insight. Damn. Oh. Well, Key's kind of like, oh fuck. <laughs> like, ah, oh, no, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Key. Um, I've seen it before, yeah. It was, uh, in the possession of uh, someone that uh, I really do not like, unfortunately, okay. but I have an associate there that was working under my guard, so they were able to get it to me. You, <clears throat> are you talking about who, who, who had it? Eyeing you <laughs> silently. <laughs> Just a friend. Well, not mm -hmm. necessarily a friend. My friend was the one to procure it from them. Hmm. I mean, that's probably a good thing, right? Yes. I don't know if you were the one to do it, but you did say champions. Do you know the gentleman that can play the violin? Uh, yes. Oh. You would oh. know my associate then. Fucking blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, yeah. Sounds familiar. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, I was just, I am just curious on what you're doing, I guess. <laughs> just the research. And she goes back to doing her research. Oh God, she kind of well. is. She's she's doing the whole. We're done talking now. I got stuff to do. Oh, okay. He's gonna just kind of like awkwardly back away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Anyone else you want to talk to before uh, Venry yeah, and actually... Chang get done with their conversation? <laughs> Um, hot tiefling <laughs> Sam. Callan. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Um, I want to talk to Raiden because I think we've had mm -hmm. his name come up before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. like, so she's going to walk up to Raiden. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see him, he's kind of trying to, he seems like a little bit like at odds, and he's like, this one? No, not, not, not this one. Um, I could definitely do this one. Uh, oh, hey! <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, I'm Raiden LaCourt. I'm, I'm Key. <laughs> you can call me Key. Nice meeting you, Key. Um, he, he kept calling you, uh, like, Kilarian, but like... It's a really long name. I'm not good with long names. I'm so sorry. Hey, okay. it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> um, is fine. But you're gonna, you're gonna like join our crew. You're gonna help us out. I mean, you guys are, I think, looking into about the same things that we are. So, I mean, you know, uh, 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 uh he like paused and looks at Zara, and she goes. Noel, he means to say Noel. You fucking idiot. And he goes, right, Noel. Um, right, uh, Noel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah, I, I actually know her really well. Yeah. Excellent. She's kind of like, 
our boss, but not really our boss. She's the one that, like, entrusted us with some, like, special items. So, yeah, it's nice to meet you. Me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, does that mean that you get to have one of our sigils, too? Wait, Zara, does that mean they get to have one of our sigils, too? And she's like... Yes, it um, means they probably get one of the sigils. Right in, please. My head hurts. And he's just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> but hey, so, um, yeah. What were we talking about again? I'm so sorry. My mind goes like a million at miles an hour. Just, uh, I just came up to you know, see what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, so, curious. um, yeah. So I am a, um, arcane summoner, which means I utilize, uh, uh, these tarot cards. They're ones specifically that are endowed with some magic and stuff, um, that allows me to do magic. So it's kind of like a, a warlock pack, but not warlock, if that makes sense. Um, because my pact is with the card. It's pretty cool. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to figure out which ones I need to utilize the most, though. Because I can only technically have three of these at once, but have a whole bunch. Also, have you heard anything um, about um, Professor LaCourt? I'm trying to find my dad. No, I was actually going to talk to you about that, so... I know Fuck. that it was mentioned. We've we've uh, sort of been <clears throat> looking into that, but uh, we <sighs> I mean, we haven't heard anything from him. If that's what you were asking. Yeah, I I always ask whoever uh, kind of shows up to know if, to know if they know my dad. Um, I've been trying to find him for like a few years now. He kind of just poofed out of existence. Um, but I know he's still alive, because my Seeking Stone's still here. So I know he's still alive, I just don't know where. Unless someone else has a Seeking Stone. That's possible. How does that work? Oh, Seeking Stones. So, um, normally, uh, they're endowed with both people's, uh, blood. Um, and then once you get closer, it lights up. But... Every single place I've gone, it hasn't lit up, so I don't know if he's, like, hiding. I haven't been to Earth yet. He might be in Earth. Or he could be in Easter Island. Haven't been to Easter Island yet, either. Oh. Or I could go to some of the other locations. There's so many places he could be. If if he were in Easter Island, I mean, do you know where he would be? Maybe? Where he might hang out? Oh, God. Oh. No, not really. I mean, like... I have, like, a friend, like, not necessarily a friend for me, more a friend of my dad. Well, a little bit. I don't know. I don't know where we are at with our relationship, but uh, his name's Killian. Uh, we've known him for kind of a long time, but, like, he and my Killian. dad. Yeah, Killian. Yes. Um, fire, was... fire Genasi, yeah, yeah. Do you know him? I do know him, yeah. Super smart son of a bitch, yeah. Yeah, one of our group members sort of pissed him off, and then, uh, don't oh. really know what sort of terms we're on with him either. He seemed okay, well, somewhat okay at the time, but he's yeah. definitely hesitant. Killian now. holds a lot of grudges, but I know that huh. every time that I pissed him off, I'd always get him, like, it's a really nice cold drink, and it has, like, a little bit of lemon in it. And a little bit of mango in it, and he really likes it. If you get him one of those, he normally cools off. It's pretty good. I'll let my group members know they're actually, uh, they, they know him. They're, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let him know I say hi, and tell him I miss him. It's been a while. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Which one do you think I should get? Should I use the sun, or should I use the stars? He kind of, like, looks back at his tarot cards. Uh, Which one do I you mean, think I, is cooler? I, I'm i a sun elf, so sun. <laughs> sun it is! Like Fire it. magic for <laughs> the win! And he kind of tucks it in his pocket. Yeah. 
And cool. He's... Um, Zara's just yeah. there, like this bastard. <laughs> She's just sitting there, <sighs> off to the side. Um, you were able to continue speaking, or you could speak to Venry now, as he has finished his conversation with Chang. Okay, uh, I mean, <laughs> she's not gonna talk to him in front of everybody, like, <laughs> I like... assume not. <laughs> uh, Chang can... has no such qualms. He's like, let's <laughs> talk, buddy chum, pal, amigo, friend. Oh, yeah. Um, I would like Chang, please roll a d20 for me. <clears throat> oh, fear. One fear. <clears throat> Well, that was a three. Cool. At one point, you zone out. Because the stuff that he's talking about, you actually already know. And you start thinking about how to make this sniper rifle that he was kind of talking about. And you're, like, kind of going through the schematics in your brain and, like, the possibilities of how to, like figure out a silencer option and like other things and you're kind you're kind of like yeah yeah kind of going and in, drifting into your mind palace a little bit um and at this point venery is kind of like oh i've lost him <laughs> <laughs> it's not an, i'm sorry venery <laughs> That the universe has decided, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, so he kind of leaves him alone, kind of walks over to where you were, and like sits down next to the spot that he kind of made for you. And you see him kind of take a pint of the beer and start drinking his own. Um, what would you like to do, Natasha? Um... Are you still gonna mingle with the other people here? Are you gonna be like, can we no. speak privately, please? <laughs> <laughs> well... Hang on, I gotta put Kylo out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, okay. Okay, um, yeah, no, she, she, again, she came here for, for, like, one thing, she's, like, her mind is, like, overwhelmed, <laughs> so, okay. yeah, yeah, yep, yep, okay. yeah, so she's just gonna walk over, yeah, okay, so, did you chase it? It's really good. Promise. Not as good as some of the uh, apples we used to pick, though. Yeah, you and your apples. I... Berries are better. Just saying. No, oh, God. I still hate blackberries. Can't stand I the taste of them. Oh, those them. are the best berries. Say that again. Those are the best berries. No, they're not, Key. The best berries are <laughs> strawberries. Those are the no, only ones no. I can palate. Sorry. No. No. They're okay, but they're not. The blackberries, they're good. And then you put them in a drink or a pastry and they're much better. No, no, no. Strawberries. Do you remember those thumbprint cookies your mom used to make? And she'd put like a little bit of strawberry slices on them and then put like a glaze. Honestly, those were the best ones. How would I react to that? <laughs> like, just would I, like, remember it? Would I not? You would remember the cookies, but mom, no, nanny. So she could, she hears mom, right? She hears mom? She heard a... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I remember cookies. No, like, the ones with the thumbprint, and then she'd put the little strawberry on that was, like, normally, like, dipped in some kind of glaze. 
I mean, I remember eating something like that, yeah. You used to rave about them all the time. So you'd shove it in my face if you were able to eat some and I wasn't. I, I know, I, I remember eating those. Right. I don't know. You said it, you said it weird. <laughs> what anyway. do you mean? I don't know. You, I don't know. It just sounded weird. So it didn't sound right. Um, but are you, are you game? Are you, like, two weeks? Two weeks and then you can come and help and maybe get the others to come too? Because, I mean, if, I know that we're using you kind of like bait to, for a distraction because, like, if the champions come, I know it's risky, but this key, it's these kids. They're going through something called conditioning. It fucks them up. I uh, should be offended about the fact that you're trying to use me as bait. Well, you're really good at distracting me. Uh... I don't, I, I would be okay with helping, but I have to ask the other group, the, the, everyone else. Excellent. I mean, if you're able to, great. And then once I'm basically getting all these kids out, we're going to try and displace them in other locations so that they're safe. Um, I'm hoping that we're able to do it as quickly and as quietly as possible. So don't want to tip off Valor, but I also want to give that fucker a good hit so bad. Yeah, yeah, I sort of understand. I think a lot of the leaders are at that point right now where they deserve that. Yeah, especially with the fucking shit that Mother Nature's pulled. Yeah, how much do you know about that? Not much, only what you really told me, but I've been trying to look into it from here, and Callan's gone in a few times incognito. Um, I'm not sure where Mom and Sis are, but I'm concerned about them. I... <laughs> me too. Um, I'm trying to be honest with you, we're not all here right now in this realm. Not all of us, at least. It's just... Just the two of you? Yeah. Oh, um, alright. Um, well, I mean, I, just two weeks, um, and then you can help us, but... I know you have tons of shit that you're handling, and... I'm handling all this shit here, too, and helping these all with what they're doing. I don't have my own shit, but besides the point. Is it? Is what? Beside the point. That I'm handling my own shit? Yeah. Well, we're all handling our own shit, Key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you have your team and I've got mine. Honestly, I'm actually... Happy to see you out and about, not stuck in that fucking forest. Yeah, well... Plus you're uncovering a lot of the fucking truth. Thank God. Ending up with a bounty on my head? Uh, you're not the only one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think all of us are at that point, to be honest, without even necessarily, you know, yeah. 
three like that. Yeah. Just wait until you get a bounty in almost four different areas. Now that's a task. Areas as in this realm. Multiple realms. You? Maybe. What have you gone to other realms? You're not the only one who has mates that been other places. Yeah, okay, fine. But, hmm. Oh, are we gonna make this a competition then? No. Mm. See who ha who can get as many bounties on their head? <laughs> I'll be done with that. that. Who can make <laughs> the most trouble? Ooh, that seems a little dangerous, Venry. That's the fun of it. A little danger. Especially if we're actually gonna do some good with it. Yeah. I'd rather have a bounty in my head for doing good than not having a bounty in my head for doing nothing. I mean, <laughs> I sort of, uh, after uh, doing everything that I've been doing, sort of, I'm not surprised at all that I have some sort of bounty. Well, I mean, you did piss off Mother Nature. And I've realized she really does have an attitude problem, doesn't she? Ha, huh, you think? If <laughs> things don't go her way, she throws a fit. Hmm. <clears throat> mm hmm. Uh huh. Sounds like someone, but I'm not gonna. I was point any you, fingers. I was that to you. No, that's not fair. Mm. I was gonna say that to you, but I didn't. Oh. I chose not to say that because mm. I'm nicer. Oh, oh, oh mm. that's debatable. That's debatable, Isn't it? Key. Yeah, Isn't just, it? just, really? just a wee bit, love. Really? How? Yeah. Um. So, how many times have you pouted when I've won some of our competitions, and then oh, you, you then you claim that you've gone easy on me? I because sometimes I do. Oh. I'm a little bit wounded. Right, right, right. Oh. Good! Oh. Right here, with my heart. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? I say double to that, so oh. get... <laughs> Beautiful. I love a good bird. From my bird. It really is good to see you, though. Yeah, and you too. <laughs> oh, there it is. See, I knew you missed me. Mm. No, I think I'm just saying that because, again, I'm nicer. Mm. Debatable. Do you want to go on a walk? Can you? Of course I can. Can you see him? <sighs> And he looks like a human version of himself without the goldish hue and the golden eyes. But still kind of like him, ever so slightly. <laughs> I'm abandoning Chang. <laughs> yeah. He kind of gets yep. up. And he doesn't start going for the door, he starts going to the window. And he opens the window up and he goes, Be right back, mate. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of climbs out the window a little bit, puts out his hand. Come on. Do you trust me? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <She's still going. laughs> Alright. So um he <clears throat> takes her onto the roof of the inn. Before kind of giving her a look and going. All right, let's see how good you are at going from roof to rooftop, shall we? Okay, uh, sure, but keep in mind I'm- <laughs> I used this excuse last time, I'm not familiar with this location. 
Just follow me. You'll be fine. And he <laughs> goes off to the next roof area. <laughs> um, I'm going to have you roll some rolls. He is also going to roll some rolls. This is going to be for your acrobatics. Oh god, okay. It's not as good. Okay, all right. I'm, you know, it's okay, but it's not. How many rolls? We're gonna do it together. Oh god, okay. <laughs> so, do your first acrobatics. Tell me what you 17. get. 17, perfect. And second one. Is a dirty 20. <laughs> What'd you get? Twelve. Okay. And next one? <laughs> Seven. That's fair. Oh, no. And next one? Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Perfect. Okay. So as he shoots off, you immediately feel that, like, your heart pump in a little bit as you're like, this fucking asshole as you go back and you run and jump as you just fly through the air and you get to the other side kind of gives you a huh look um before you see him kind of go backwards this time going to the edge before going come on over here before turning around and just right across the way to the next roof you slowly follow suit, pause and look down. You've been higher, but in this vicinity and knowing that there is straight concrete on the ground if you fall, that's kind of unnerving. But you also have the fall thing, so you're kind of okay. So you kind of step, you go, and your foot gets to the other side, but your other foot like hits the rooftop and you kind of stumble. <laughs> you write yourself back up. Losing your balance. No. Of course not. Look forward, not down. You know this. Normally you're better through the trees. Maybe I'm just better in this urban atmosphere. Yeah, well I can't fucking breathe here, so... You get used to it. And this time, you feel a little bit of anger in the pit of your stomach as you run and you jump and you slightly miscalculate this time as your hand flies up and you try to catch the edge to bring yourself up as you struggle and he's already on the second rooftop in ahead of you and he pauses and looks back and goes what happened and you just kind of <clears throat> Grunt. Nothing. Like, get I'm up. I'm fine. <laughs> this time, you're like, I'm, I'm gonna get it this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get it this time. And you do a full run. But your foot. <laughs> and you start going forward before you feel someone grab the back as you start to like do the starting of the levitate and you feel someone pull you back up. He is on the side of the rooftop, grabbing you from the back and pulling you <laughs> back up. That was your seven. God. <laughs> that actually could have been really bad. Um, be more careful this time. Um, one more time. We're just going to get up here and then we're going to go... Um, Secret route, I'm um, taking you to that clock tower. He points up in the middle. And you you start to go this time, and you go ahead of him as you get to the next location that you need to. But this time, you hear a <laughs> fuck, fuck, <laughs> as his foot catches the ground as you are ahead of him, and you look behind, and he is face first 
on top of the rooftop and you see him do a tumble. Pause. I'm good. Sorry, you were distracting me. How does he you? say that? Well, I'm not lying. He gets up and he pops over to you. Big cheesy smile as always. That was his four. <laughs> oh, he got a, oh, he got a four. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I yeah did not roll very good at all. Um, and then he takes you through a small downward tunnel area and kind of gets you through this middle area. And you immediately know, oh, this is the location we're not supposed to be. He took me into an area that is not heavily guarded, but we have to be very stealthy in this location because if we're caught, we're going to be thrown out. And you see just a big smile form on his face as he looks at you and goes, now we're doing something more up my alley, I think. I don't know. I've gotten pretty good at sneaking. Have you? Yeah. All right. Let's put it to the test, shall we? Hmm. We're going to do some stealth. We're only going to do four of these. I need to write them in. Uh... <laughs> uh... All right. Okay. First one. 25. Okay. Second one. 26. Perfect. Next one. 25. 25. Perfect. And 22. 22. Okay. So you guys both start to sneak. Trying to get ahead of one another. You nudge him. He nudges you back trying to get the other one to make some noise and to fuck up. And it almost feels like for a moment back when you were kids, when you would do this, to try to sneak into the old man's backyard and try to steal an apple from his tree without detection. As you guys would try to nudge each other a little bit. And Venry's quiet, but so are you. And as you both of you go, you're almost matching each other. One's a little bit more quieter than the other. You're a little bit more quieter than him this time. But at one point, you lose track of him, right? And he's gone. Before he rounds the corner to make himself visible to you with a big toothy grin. And you catch up once again. And you lose track of him once more in the shadows of the alleyway before you reach the center area where the big tower is and you see the maintenance door slightly open and him peek through, giving you the, come on, as you whew, sneak behind. You guys legitimately were matching one another. Really? God. <laughs> yeah, except for the very end when he started rolling in his 30s. Of course he rolled. I can't roll that high, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's also <laughs> a good higher. Stuff, but not that good. He's also a higher level than you, so. Yeah, that's one of my proficiencies, mm -hmm, so. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you guys go through the maintenance section of this tower as he takes you up some maintenance locations, and you guys are quiet as ever, as if air was what was catching beneath your footsteps, nothing else, before you emerge 
through the door of the clock face and you look out, you can actually breathe up here. The smog hasn't reached this high. And in the distance, you can see what looks to be a sunset starting across the land in this area. You see him sit down at the clock tower, one leg over the edge before he pats the side right next to him. So, what do you think? You seem to like it here. I do, actually, which is weird. It's also weird to think that this place could have been my world. That <laughs> I would have never done anything in the gardens. I would have been here to begin with. But I guess then I wouldn't be me, huh? Oh, it's a weird thought. <laughs> Seem kind of look forward. Distress and confusion crossing his face only for a moment. Before looking over at you. As much as I would have liked to have known him. I kind of like the fact that I grew up in the gardens. Some important things happened to me there. He's quiet. <laughs> he looks over at you silently. Looks forward. Before you hear something in the far distance, what sounds to be like a screech and a pop, and then another screech and a pop. In the distance, you see another island, and they're setting off something that you've never really seen before. But you've seen something kind of like it, like magic. But the popping dispersed color in the night sky as it comes to making different shapes, stars, hearts, bursts of what looks to be like flowers, almost like stars for a moment. Different colors, red, green, blue, white your family for one maybe I wouldn't have even known my uh, my brother maybe not even my sister technically maybe I would have grown up here with just my father and never knew my mother, my friends. <laughs> Playing games with you. It's just interesting to think about. You hear that whistle. <sighs> Do you know what those are? <clears throat> no. They're called fireworks. Apparently they became very famous in the uh, Chinese New Year. Um, down on Earth, I believe, they were first created. And then, of course, 
many, many have started using it to celebrate different holidays and whatnot, like here. There's not many bits that remind me of the gardens, but the fireworks kind of do. They remind me of the fields that would go play in as kids. Reminds me of those flower fields we used to run through and talk about life and make fun of one another. When this is all done, Key, what do you think you're going to do? <clears throat> I... Honestly, I have no idea. I... <laughs> it's hard think about the fact that my home isn't really a home to me right now. The whole realm I mean, already was kind of looking at me like I was some kind of monster. Oh. Yeah. Disappointment. I'm a freak. But you yeah. didn't belong. I know. I know that feeling all too well. Well, I don't know if you'd like it, but you're more than welcome to stay here. I, you seemed to learn to like it, so maybe I could? Don't get me wrong, there's not many trees. <laughs> Not many flowers. But there are islands here that do have that. Maybe you could uh, take up some of your mum's baking. Be a baker. For a short while. Unless you want to just continue doing what I'm doing. And fucking some shit up. I feel like I always fuck shit up anyway, so... Stop doing that. Stop degrading yourself, Key. You're not. You never have. I hate it when you do that. I hate it when you look down at yourself when I know... You are so much better than so many others. You know, I, I could say the same thing to you. In what way? Tell me how great I am. I'd love to hear it. Ha, <laughs> ah, funny. <laughs> Don't ruin the moment, Fenry. What? We were having a moment, <laughs> you and I. I don't know, were we? <laughs> I don't know, were we? Uh, I mean, <laughs> look, um, stop that. Stop, stop, what? <laughs> what? Stop. What? Don't 
look at me that way. Stop. <laughs> what way? My face? Yeah, should your I face. Just, should I just look away from you then and not look at you at all? Mm. Uh. <laughs> Her hand is gonna go up to the necklaces again <laughs> and she's just like clutching them like super mm -hmm. tight. <sighs> Look, um... Mm. I have a lot of things that I want to say to you, or could say to you. <laughs> All right. I just, um, I'm, I'm, I'm scared for you. I'm, I'm scared, I'm scared, just about a lot of things. Yeah, no, I'm scared for me too. But I'm more so scared for everyone else. What if we fail and it does open? That's my fear. That I didn't protect everyone that I wanted to protect. I mean, kind of how I feel too. It's just. That isn't your burden to bear. It's mine, technically. And all of the other golden children. It's our fucking bloodlines. Yeah. You're someone that I want to protect, Venry, and, and... <laughs> You're... Really fucking important to me. Okay? <laughs> and it's not because of a bloodline. It never has been. I only just recently learned about this bloodline. You've always been important to me. Important. Yeah. How important, Key? <laughs> to the point where, um, I would do probably anything to make sure that you're safe. He turns his head to look at you and see that familiar smirk, but it falters just ever so slightly. That's dangerous, you know. I can't say that I don't feel the exact same. I would do it a thousand years over and over to protect you. If it called for it. Do you ever wonder why I ever called you little bird? bother me, I just... 
No. Because I thought you were the most glorious little thing I wanted to capture for myself. But I never could because you were so free. You were the one thing out of my grasp. But nevertheless, I wanted to capture you more. Maybe you have. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I. Have I captured your heart? Because that's what I was gaining for. Yeah. leans in ever so slightly making you nose to nose tell me again what have I captured you're ridiculous <laughs> oh am I and he gives you a quick kiss You feel his hand caress your cheek, not wanting to let go, but soft and gentle. But he's waiting for you to pull away. And as you don't, the kiss deepens before you both have to pull back and breathe out. You see a ridiculous smile come across his lips. Seems I really have cut my bud. Believe me, I'm not going to let that one go. I don't know if she does want to be free from it. I don't. <laughs> he smiles. This is your forehead. Kind of allows you to lean into him. And you stare off into the night sky. As the Fireworks still display off in the distance, and there's a comfortable silence between the two of you. Nice. And you sit there for an hour, two hours. Every now and again, he'd look at you, you look at him. There was a silent connection. Before it gets a little bit too late. And you both begrudgingly start to head back to the location you were. Jumping across rooftops, hiding from guards. But ever so often, you receive a look from him, a smirk, a glance. Another smirk. Before you come back to the bar, the group is basically left for the night. Chang is there, silently, with Sophia, 
and they seem to be going over some paperwork as you both crawl through the window. She looks over at the two of you. If I was your mother, you'd both be in trouble. He laughs a little. You see him rub the back of his neck a little bit in an awkward fashion. And he just slightly lets go of your hand, ever so slightly, before walking over and checking how things are, leaving you to the scene of these three by an open fireplace, <laughs> as he slowly looks back up at you for a moment and gives you a soft smile. And now we're going to go to the other group. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to sit in my feels, it's fine. <laughs> yes! Yes! I'm so proud of you! She's so happy. <laughs> She's like, yeah! Yeah, I am! Boy, <laughs> finally! The moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> Alright, Chang, we'll get back to you after I'm done with these guys. Oh boy! Oh boy! More worms! Yes. <laughs> please no! <laughs> Don't die, please! Don't die! Okay. I can't even heal because there's fucking sunlight. Mhm. Mm oh. <laughs> All right. So, you guys also <laughs> still in control of the the thing now. Tosh, if you can change the music, that would be great. What style of music would you like? I would like just like passive. Passive? Like, okay. And kind I'm of a, like a traveling kind of passive. Cool. I'm on it. Okay. So as you guys are going full blast to get out of there, you guys are pretty sure it is past as the sandstorm starts to dissipate. And you guys are able to take Ooh. a breath. Asa is gripping the reins really tightly. Um, how is everyone? Is everyone all right? Uh, sure. That does not sound very good, Noctis, as he's going forward. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, yeah, you, uh... if you reach into the blue bag, he kind of like lifts his arm and motions down. I should have some healing potions in there. Uh, so he's gonna look for two. Okay, um, what kind are you looking for? What size, do you know? Like a regular one. Okay, um, I so guess. yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so just thinking about it, you are able to procure two. Okay, I actually don't know how much a regular one gives. Um, a regular one is going to give you, um, 2d4 plus two. That is a regular healing potion. Can I just grab any out of it? You can, can I grab, like, a greater one? You can see if he has any. Are you going to try and go in and go for a greater? Yeah, two greater ones. I'll look for two greater ones. Yeah, you are able to procure two greater healing potions. Perfect. I'll hand it's... one to Phoenix. Okay, cool. So it's 4d4 plus 4 is what you have. And just goes, <clears throat> make sure to put the bottles back in once you're done. Forty-four plus four. Four D four oh, plus four. Yep. So I gained thirteen. <laughs> Which that sucks. That's fine. I mean, I got yeah. fifteen. All right, nice. And then All I'll right. drop them back in. <laughs> All right. So, you guys are making your way, the storm is dying down, and in the far distance, you guys can kind of see the top of what looks to be a very large spire. 
You guys can either try to travel throughout the night as it's starting to get darker. Or you guys can try to set up camp. But we'll gain exhaustion if we travel through the night, right? Yes. Yeah, no, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to set up camp? I guess. Okay. In the middle of the desert with in the, the sandworms. In the middle of the desert with sandworms around. How? Uh, <laughs> okay. How far are we to the to the city? You guys would probably get there in about four hours. Four to five hours. You could... Yeah, we can just go and then we can rest when we get there. Yeah, you guys could get... Yeah. yeah. Plus, I thought it's, it was going to be like a whole other day of travel. No, it's going to be a lot cooler for you guys, too. Oh, so... Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, Killian is going to take over the reins. Um... And you guys are gonna travel for another, ooh, for another little while. Oh. Everyone left me. Hello. <laughs> Hi. What the hell just happened? Uh, I have no way to you. I don't know, but something happened to me too. I got kicked off, so I don't know if it happened to you, but oh <laughs> yeah, it happened to me. Weird. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, Welcome okay. back. You saw my, my pistol was like. <laughs> I know, you're like, hello? Um, alright, so you guys are back. I am going to change the video. Ooh, looks like Tatooine. Look. Is it gonna be some Jawas around? Hey. <laughs> did it, did it change? It did, okay. <clears throat> so, welcome to Albeed. You guys can see a very large spire in the center. There is a fountain around. It is kind of closer to nighttime, so everything's a little bit darker. However, there are there are there are there are little globules of light that kind of float through the city, kind of illuminate the town, and it seems that the city is a little bit more active right now. So it's not very quiet. There's people that are going to the market. There are people who are going and doing daily errands. It seems the town flourishes more at night than it does the daytime. My people. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so looking around, you're able to kind of poke around. You guys can easily find the inn that's in this location. Um, it is a very large kind of domish looking building as you guys kind of walk in. Um, and they do have rooms if you guys want to set up a room. Killian definitely wants to set up a room. He is tired and he is sweaty yeah. and he is gross. Um, Can I take a dip in the fountain? <laughs> maybe not the drinking fountain because that's where they get their actual water from. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if you speak to the person in the inn, they can direct you to the bathing house. He is, as they pass this water fountain, he's going to be like... <laughs> Just like, <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, yep. You see some people just kind of like, we get it. <laughs> like, <laughs> as they're passing, they're like, uh, they don't, they're probably from not around here. We get it. Um, Asa is also doing the same thing. He's like, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> like, water. Um, but you guys have the rest of the night. You guys can catch up on some sleep. Um, if you want to go to the bathing house, you can go to the bathing house. Asa definitely wants to go to the bathing house. He's like, oh, yes. I can take a bath. Absolutely. <laughs> um, if you guys all want to go to the bathing house, it is a an, another large kind of squarish looking building. Um, they have male, female, and then they have the open bath for anyone. Everyone is expected to wear kind of like under things a little bit, so not showing everything, because um, it is a little bit more conservative in this location. Um, so you you guys are able to get like it's almost like black kind of over thing like clothes that you guys are able to wear. It's like swimsuit, but not swimsuit, not like that material. Um, but you guys are able to go. You guys can. It's really nice. Very kind of tropical. 
it takes a moment, you guys are able to just like breathe for a moment, and you're like, oh, this is actually really nice. <sighs> um, so you guys take the time to relax, get some food, which is more kind of a Moroccan kind of food. Um, they have apricot chicken, which is really, really yummy, if I just say so myself. <laughs> Um, there's also some hummus, um, and, like, some other, like, finger foods. You guys have, like, that flatbread that you're able to do stuff with. You got the, like, the lamb kebabs that they got. You guys have, like, tons of food here. Um, jolly group of people. Those little globules are kind of around. Um, you can roll perception to try to see out in the distance the floating eye on the islands. Oh, okay, that's actually good. 22. 22. I got a 19. Okay. Both of you are able to kind of see the islands in the far off distance, and they are really high up in the fucking sky. Damn, there are. And falling off of these islands are forms of water that are just kind of coming off the edge, like huge waterfalls that go into that big oasis in the middle of this, like, fucking desert of bullshit. Um, but you guys do see all that water. In the distance, you guys can see some light sources on this area. Um, but it is, other than that, it is dead quiet. It is just pff, nothing. Um, you guys are able to go to bed. Or you guys can go look around the market area if you'd like before going to bed for the night. But you guys won't be able to do anything until your guys are basically fully rested. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to look around and see if anyone has like a, a lead box or something. Okay. Um, going around in this location, um, there's a whole mess of different kinds of people. You see... Um, blacksmith you see the main market area which has like tons of fabric and jewelry and food and like a whole bunch of different things there's um a woman that has a whole bunch of knickknacks um and some of them say enchanted materials um but looking around um you can talk to someone or you can just go into the market location um i or guess you can i'll just go, go to the blacksmith it. And you're I'll still disguised, right? Yes. Okay. So this market is bigger once you get kind of in it. Um, there are places that have clothing and food, and you do find some place that does have boxes, but they're like ornate wooden boxes with like really cool inscriptions on them, and like some of them are made to hold like potions, some of them are made to hold like different kind of components for spells there's another box that's made to like separate your money like a money box and like stuff like that but you're not finding any lead boxes you do all hear right. off in the distance come one come all and see the magnificent attire that we have here and she kind of like, you hear like this big, huge, like female voice that's doing like, look at my wares. Everything here is fantastic. We have a sale going on and like stuff like that. <laughs> it's like that Dwarven crafts thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he'll go check out some uh, attire. Attire, of course. Um, it's very colorful. The So it's very... Um, brightly colored it's kind of like a mix of like like think arabian nights kind of thing but like there's also some stuff that like is more egyptian-y and has like the drapes of the white cotton fabric with the little bits of like color coming like seeping like kind of like a uh, ombre kind of thing it's very different than what you're used to for clothing wise because it's very airy and it's most of it's white to of course reflect the sun well he he does wear a lot of airy clothes mm -hmm. i mean his 
Sure. Oh yeah, that you piece. can find stuff that's like low. You can find stuff that is like super airy. There's one shirt that like if you raise your arms, it makes it look like almost like a butterfly. It's pretty cool. Is there something I want one of those. <laughs> for like pants or just something he can wear instead of his tight yeah. leather pants in the yeah, desert? Yeah, so there's like, <laughs> so you know like genie pants, how they're kind of like super comfy and like wavy? There's yeah. some of those. And then there's some of those pants that are like, they have the slits on the side of the legs. So they are they can like catch air. Yes, there's some of I those like too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, those ones come in the traditional white. There's also one that comes in kind of like a lavender pastel -y color. There's another one that comes into like the, uh, the yellow, like pastel yellow. And a lot, lot of the colors are pastel, but there is a small section in this area that is like jewel tone. So you have the jewel toned purple, you have the jewel toned green, you have the jewel toned blue. Is that gonna be a little bit darker? It is darker, so you will be absorbing more heat. This seems to be more traditional attire for like nighttime affairs. Cool. Um, it's still airy though, right? It's got. It is little... still very airy. Um, some of them have like on the hip area, it kind of goes down with a V, and it's like almost bedazzled in a way like it has gemstones and stuff attached to it so it kind of goes on the hips has like a hip hole connects with some jewels and then has that slit on the side uh -huh. <laughs> not so exactly it's... noctis's thing but like uh he'll go for it he's gonna be like how much is this <laughs> Um, so the woman there, you see her kind of look up and it's a, it's an orc looking woman. Um, and she goes, ah, right there. You're looking at probably about 15 copper. 15 copper. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that like a, yes. Oh no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you are looking to have it, of course, repel the sun, which we can do. That is another, it's a two gold and we can enchant it to do that how long will that take uh it would take probably until the morning okay okay um we have a mm. few other orders that we're working on i'm trying to think of like if i should get a matching shirt <laughs> yeah you could you could definitely get the matching shirt if you'd like i don't i don't know if he would up to you. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying. I'm trying to imagine because I'm not a fashion person. Okay, let me see if I can find the um, outfit <laughs> that I am for these pants. I'm like trying to figure out if it would match with his black spider outfit. Ah. Uh, so he's in disguise right now anyway, I guess. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. So you would be looking at... Copy image. Um, you'd be looking at stuff that's like this. So it's like it's sheer, but it has those open bits. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you'd be yeah. looking at stuff like that. Um, there's also stuff that kind of looks like this. It's very airy, like, definitely gonna be able to get some airflow through things. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I think he likes that first one. Okay. Okay, so you are gonna get that. Are you gonna get it enchanted? Yes. To, since it is a darker color. Mm -hmm. Okay. They don't have black, but they do have like those jewel toned colors. Yeah, that's fine. He likes purple. Yeah. It's his okay. favorite color. <laughs> purple it is. So you got that jewel toned purple with the the gold little thing around the uh, the waist. Um. So yeah. So just take that off of your money amount. Mm -hmm. It was two gold. You said. 
two gold for the enchantment. And, and then 15 and then, for the actual item. Cool, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Phoenix, are you going out and shopping as well? Yeah. Okay. Because I need, I need cool down clothes too. Okay, okay. Um, just look up um, dancing outfits. That's kind of what I did to try and find all like the flowy stuff. Um, or you can put like loose or um, Moroccan dancing is something else I put in. But they're gonna have stuff that's like that very flowy kind of fabric. Um, Asa is also currently trying to find an outfit because he is dying in the heat. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's trying to find, um, Floy outfits for himself. Ooh, so. Is there, uh, is there a shirt that's kind of like that? It's okay if it's, like, longer and stuff, but, like... Yeah, um, so they have the different variations. They have ones that are short, they have one that's mid-range, and they have one that's long. But, yeah, they would have something kind of like that. Cool, he wants to get something like that, too. Okay, easy peasy, as long as it's flowy. Killian is gonna go to sleep. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're done for the day. Um, Asa's gonna get the pants that are not the ones that you chose, but the one under it, so it kind of has, like, that weird, like, opening thing. Mm hmm But, like, <laughs> has, like, that, and they're gonna get it in white, because they know that it's gonna just reflect the sun, and that's what they want. Um, well, their shirt Noctis is gonna get as in white, just okay. so he doesn't have to bother about enchantment. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, so basically Oss is getting stuff to get him just all in white based off of the coin that you guys gave him. So <laughs> Well, the these time... outfits are cheap, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, these outfits are really cheap. So he's like, okay. So he has his own outfit. Um But yeah, so you guys can kind of look at those kind of outfits, figure out what you want. Um, he still has to wear his straps and everything, so it's going to be kind of awkward. So he's going to still have something against him, which is going to make him sad. But, you know, it's what has his fucking shit. Um, so Oss is going to be in head-to-toe white at this point. Um, but he also is going to try to find some darker colors so that... <laughs> Um, so I that he, they have a sneaky, sneaky time. That is really pretty, and I like that. <laughs> That's really cute. Is she gonna have, like, a really, like, a short top with it? <laughs> yes. Uh, I was trying to decide if I wanted, like, one of those, like, really short tops with the long sleeves. Mm -hmm. Like, the sheer sleeves, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I can't, I can't find what I'm looking for. That's okay. That's okay. We're imagining it in our brains. So you guys are getting brand new clothes, kind of going for that. Um, also, eventually, it's going to be like, I'm going to bed. I got to go because I can feel myself passing out here any second. Um, and yeah. so he's going to scuttle back and go to work. Um. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah you guys are kind of go shopping noctis if you're still looking around you can ask some people what they're thinking or like where um, to possibly find an item like that he's just gonna stop by the blacksmith yeah um blacksmith basically says that he could make you one um but it would take two days to do so because he's a little backed up with stuff that he's doing um, for other clients but nothing's pre-made at the moment he's he's just gonna ask um do you have like any like uh raw 
lead? Um. That you'd be willing to sell? Like, just a little piece, just a little bit. Like, how many, how, how many grams or pounds or what are you looking at? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. You do mass. He he's just gonna be like like maybe like a little ball or something, you know. Like I He kinda gives you the one second, kind of goes to the back. He's an older orcish man and kind of waddles to the back, looks around before coming back with what looks to be like a small little strip of iron. He's like like this. Yeah, that works. How much for that? Just take it. <laughs> Just kind of oh. plops it in your hand before turning around and going back to what he was doing. All right. He's going to wrap it in, like, something and put it away. Okay. You know what I just realized? A lot of the outfits I could see Noctis wearing are a lot of, like, ice skating men's outfits. Because, like, they have the different, like, cuts and everything, you know? Like, I just thought of that. Like, just look at <laughs> ice skating outfits. Like, <laughs> they're great. <laughs> <laughs> also, some of these poses are just real nice. I can also see Asa wearing a few of these, to be perfectly frank. But like, look at that pose. <laughs> <laughs> Asa after he gets slapped in the ass. <laughs> She's like, excuse me! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same thing. But yes, so... <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do with your tiny little bit of iron? He's gonna stow it away to give to Chang. Okay. <laughs> Get Here Chang to make him a box. <laughs> oh, that's simple enough. You know who could technically make a small little box made out of iron? Who? Your jeweler that you have on hand. Not out of this tiny little strip, though. No, but if you got more iron, she could probably put it together. Yeah, but Chang could just like bamf the box, right? <laughs> Chang can only bamf the material. They still have to make it. Oh, I thought he could like, uh. They. Ah, that's fine, alright. Yeah, I was well, like, he they can... can't just he... like make things. That would be too easy. Damn. Like. Alright. They can, like, make bars of gold because it's bars of gold, like... Okay, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll worry about the box later then. Okay. So now Chain can make lead. Yeah, there you go. Um, so. Are you headed back to... the inn that you guys are currently at? Yes. Okay. So you guys head back to the inn and are able to sleep most of the day away. It kind of gets you guys to about like three, four o'clock in the middle of your guys's third day. So you guys are way in advance <laughs> than the other two right now. Because we're not doing a lot of uh, talking. <laughs> yeah, you guys aren't doing a lot of talking. You guys are, you guys have been plans, man. Um, um, but when you guys wake up in the morning, it is bright and shiny. It is very bright out because it is about 3 p.m. He would send Key another message, but because I don't know what's going on, I'm going to wait. Yeah. Because he didn't even get the reply from the one yet. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
because you're on day two, so. But I'm just saying he he would have sent a message uh, yeah, depending yeah. on like what he. We'll have stuff. some wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Happen. Yeah. Um. So. You guys are gonna try and figure out a way to get up on those fucking islands. Mm-hmm. With all four of you. I can take at least three of us. You can take at least three. But you don't think it'd probably be a very good idea to leave Killian behind, especially yeah. with how on edge he is already. Well... <laughs> so my plan was that I can make us all invisible. Okay. Were you going to have Asa hang from the broom? No. That doesn't sound very convincing. <laughs> no, I was going to have Killian do it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, out of no. everyone, Asa would be the one that would be able to do that. No, I'm absolutely not going to make him do that. <laughs> okay. He is not allowed to do that. <laughs> um... Are you going to go back and forth? That's what I was figuring. Like, I was trying to figure out how I how we would do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is a like, possibility. Like, turn us all invisible so no one could see us, at least. Yeah. And then I could just ferry people up and down, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You could, you could do that. Just depends on where you're going to drop them off. I'm assuming you're yeah. going to try and get as close as possible, but you don't know what's up there. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Maybe we can do some research in the town. Mm-hmm. That would probably be a good idea. Just kind of talk, see what's going on. Um, okay. So you guys can take some time to talk. There is the inn that you're currently in. There is the bar. There's the bathhouse that you guys saw a lot of people talking back and forth with a lot of locals. Um, there's the marketplace at night. Um, so you guys could wait another day and try to get in contact with people at night. Um, Asa is going to have to speak to Sko about letting him stay up oh, because okay. normally he'd be forced to go to sleep. So he has to try and speak to her and being like, bro, I got to do something at night. Can I do it during the day? <laughs> is, that a, is that something I can do? Are you okay with that? <laughs> um, But yeah, so we'll 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 see. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I guess I do need to buy something else. Okay. What else do you want to buy? Like a water skein. Water skein? Oh yeah. Yeah, easy enough. You're able to find that in the marketplace. That is gonna be probably five gold. Not gold. Copper. All right. So easy enough, able to find one of those. And he's gonna fill it with the fountain. Okay, very nice. It is, it is nice, cool, and crisp water. Very fresh and delicious. Anything you want to do, Phoenix? I mean, I was just looking through everything that I have. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm good. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna switch gears real quick and go to Chang specifically, because you guys are on day three. They're still on day one. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna try what? and catch up just ever so slightly. Chang, you got left in that room with all those people. Venry and Key went out the window. They didn't seem bothered by it. You are more than welcome to talk to any of those people if you would like. Wow. They left a guy with no social tech for the group of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, P, my guys. Um. 
So there is Juniper, who's in there, and she is looking furious. There is right. Zara, there is Callan, Raiden, and then there's Sophia. I take it he has no clue about any of these people. Nope. Great. Nope, these are strangers. However, roll an intelligence for me. Okay. I'm not gonna play. Why? Why do you fail me so? He got a seven. You don't know anything about these people. Fabulous. You know that Juniper is the sister of Amarth, just based on what people have said. Amarth's dead. And she's scary. Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. He's not... This He's tiny not child is scary. Um, Zara kind of seems to be dealing with a headache at the moment. She is yeah. next to Raiden, who seems to be going over the tarot cards that he has in front of him. Callan is over on the side. He seems to be kind of whittling away at a block of wood, kind of making it into something. And then Sophia is currently going over paperwork that she currently has and a item on the table. Oh, or you can just leave. I mean, you don't leave <laughs> you're, you're just you're, you're like this tiny little gnome. Well, not really tiny, but you're like sitting there like compared to all of them. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> like that, um, whatchamacallit, the, uh, John Travolta meme. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, he's curious about the paper. Oh, I mean. That Sophia's working on? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna walk over and kind of look over her shoulder? Maybe. Okay, easy enough. Immediately, you recognize some of these symbols. She is looking into the ancients through this item that she has in her possession. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, he might point to some of the symbols like, oh, hey, I know that. Do you know? What kind of uh, symbol is this? She is motioning to one in particular, which... Would you know it? I think you would know it. Can I look at it? Does Chang know the symbol of Xylo? Would he? I mean, he... He was... I don't think he would. No, because I think any time no. Silo did something, he didn't perceive it, so... Yeah, well, plus you guys... I don't know if Chang with us when we found that thing of all the 12, because those are... I think it was just me, Skulk, and was it Noctis? Noctis, or When yeah. we were in Valentine Valley? Mm -hmm. That's the only place we've seen all of the symbols, and we have yet to fully communicate what they all look like with each other. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> we didn't put the symbols in there. Yeah, symbols what were put in the pad. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Noctis. One job. <laughs> um, so no, you would not know the symbol that is the main symbol. But you could put on your monocle. And just go, hmm, well, I know exactly what this <laughs> says. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, no. Uh... Hmm. God, should I use my... Oh, oh no, 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 Somebody brought up a good point. What about that scroll in Killian's office? That was a couple, that oh, was like that a day narrow? ago. Wasn't that narrow and, and That like was, narrow? no, you did, yes. There was yeah, a scroll was that was for Xylo. Xylo. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I guess, so, so would he? Yeah, so you would recognize it. You would about. recognize it and go, oh, I do know this. Roll a intelligence. <laughs> I'm so scared. 
Don't fail me now, come on guys. You know this. And I guess that I got a 10. You recognize it, you don't know why you recognize it. <sighs> I guess I'm whipping out that monocle. You're going, <laughs> let me get a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, it's just, just sorry I'm blind in one eye. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Um, the main symbol that you were looking at is the one for Xylo. Oh, is that what the monocle tells me? Yeah. It's basically going, Goddess of Wood, Xylo. Um, okay, that's what it means. Yeah. Um, there are some other symbols on it, but it's... Symbols you've already kind of perceived, and mm -hmm. you kind of know already, which I can yeah. tell you what they are. Let me get to my thing. <laughs> so you have the symbol for wood. Mm -hmm. You have the symbol of spirit. Spirit. Um, you have the symbol, where is that? <laughs> of protect. protect. And you have the symbol of safety. And then you have the symbol of tool. Tool. Yep, and that is what is on that one. Okay. So, um... It looks to be like a handle for an axe. Not a handle for an axe, it is an axe head. So it's like the head of the axe. Oh, so it's on the... So she's looking at the axe head? Yeah, it doesn't seem to have a handle. You, with your little monocle, um, kind of understand that once you re... If you are attuned to this item and you reach for it, it will create a handle that you can hold that only you then can utilize. Okay. So it's... In a sense, it's kind of like m m m near Molnir. Oh, I'm your, m m I can never yeah. say it right. It's it's Milnir. <laughs> Milnir. It's like that. Oh, the only one that can on, hold it. Depending on which Marvel you're thinking of, but like technically in the one, it's Milnir. Yeah, it's like that. So only the one that's attuned to it can utilize it. And Chang knows that Phoenix. Uh, gets help from Xylo, right? Like, that was Xylo she talked to in Duska. Yes, yes, yes. You, it you, is mine you... just thinking, oh, I know Going, someone who could use that. Ha! Huh, Phoenix can utilize this. <laughs> that would be a nice gift. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Um, she is working away on it. Yeah, he's just like... Yeah, you can... So Look in, if you're looking at some of her notes, there's a whole bunch of equations on this note, on these uh -huh. notes and stuff of like different godly symbols and how they might interact with other symbols and like, it's getting a little bit con convoluted as you continue on. Make an intelligence. Oh boy. Wow, it's an eight. You're not quite sure. You're you're looking at some of these and you're like You're seeing patterns that you do recognize, but there's other patterns on this work that don't make sense to you. Mm -hmm. The ones that do, of course, is Water and fire negate one another. They keep each other balanced. 
Okay. Darkness and light negate each other and keep each other balanced. And like there's some of those, but if you combine certain elements together, they can make that element more stronger against all our other elements. Interesting. So you see like different different combinations coming together to do things. Can he uh, take notes? He's not going to be discreet about it. He's just like, wow, let me. Uh... <laughs> you see that the moment you take out your notebook to take notes, you see Sophia give you a look. And she goes, I don't like others um, taking information that is not rightfully theirs unless they ask. What? You mean we're not sharing? Vendry might trust you, and we somewhat trust you, but I have been working on this for quite a long time. If you were to take my research and claim it as your own, I'd be very upset. Oh, I'm not looking to take it as my own. I... Do you have anything to trade? Uh... Knowledge for knowledge. Knowledge for knowledge. Uh... So I have knowledge, fuck. You have a lot of knowledge. I know, but I don't know what she doesn't know, what she does know. Um... You're not sure, but if you offer her something, if she were, makes, says it's worthy of it, then she might. Uh... Mm -hmm. I've got... Oh, I guess there's a lot of knowledge on the presentation. There's the journal. Well, I don't want to give my journal up. Fuck me. Who says you have to give the journal up if she might well, you just right. make a copy of it? You right, you right. Okay. So are you going to give her access to the journal? Well, Asa said we could trust the Gilded Cage, right? Technically, Asa is part of it. Right, right, right. God, the stress, the stress of choosing choices. Um... Knowledge for knowledge. You look over the patterns. I mean, you in. have something on your person that she would be love to write down. My hand? Yeah. I was actually, I was literally just about to lead up to it. He's like, you know. All those patterns. symbols? All these symbols. What exactly are you looking into with these symbols? Like. I may. We are trying to figure out a way to help with closing the door. I'm sure you understand what that is, correct? Yes. Excellent. We are trying to see if we can utilize some of the uh, godly powers within these uh, items and whatnot to maybe help find an alternative route. The godly power and items, huh? Um. Okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Is he- I forgot, is he sitting down? I mean, he's short. <laughs> I'm assuming he's standing. She's sitting. Okay, he might want to sit. <laughs> he's just gonna sit down. Uh... I'm trying to, I was trying to figure out how to work this less stupid. What? Are you just gonna be like, I got something! <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he doesn't wanna like... She's just like thinking that she's got all these symbols and patterns and things and... He wants to show her 
the symbols on his hand to be like, you know, when you connect certain symbols, um, hold on, rewind, rewind. Mm. I was going to make an analogy to like something techie, but I remembered I'm stupid and I don't know <laughs> any of that myself. <laughs> So are you going, are you offering the Metallio tattoo to assist her in her uncovering? Yeah, he's going to show her okay. the pact he made with Metallio that was, <laughs> by the way, very painful. Mm -hmm. She, uh, and he's gonna... she kind of looks at your hand and goes, uh, may I? Yeah, sure, go for okay. it. Okay, she kind of takes your hand and isn't looking at it in every which way that she can and she starts writing down what the symbols and what the tattoo looks like and everything. Do you also show her the ring? Or just the tattoo? Oh, okay. Damn, that, I don't know about the ring. That's a little secret. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. That's a little secret secret. He's not, gonna, he's not okay. that trusting just yet. Okay, so she goes, all right, all right. She writes everything down. Do you understand what each of these symbols mean? Where he say yes. Um, Do you share that information with her? Is that smart to share? It's up to you. You're the one that has it. God damn it. I wish I could ask Vitalio if that's a smart decision. <laughs> like, hey! I mean, in this moment, she has your hand, she's writing everything down. If you want to, like, close your eyes and try to gain his, uh, his, uh, attention, you can. Just roll a d20. Maybe he does it, like, without really thinking about it. He's just like, wow, this is, like, is this a good idea? Roll a d20. Of course, it's the one time I roll high. Fuck me. It's 14. <laughs> yeah, no, you need to roll low for that one. Oh. <laughs> dice betray me. My dice says, nah, you're on your own, kid. Nah, nah son, nah, son. Um, <laughs> in response, she kind of pushes a few of the papers your way so you can copy some of her notes about this. Oh, shit, what up? Okay, so, okay. this was deemed enough for at least some, not all of her paperwork, but some. Okay. <laughs> She basically is pushing over the paper that you were looking at, the ones that are saying, like, these two go together, these two go together, these two conflict, these two conflict, in this way, and that, and stuff like that. Mm. Roll an intelligence for me. I know, your, your favorite thing to roll. <sighs> Oh, let me do that. Twenty-one. Wow! I'm so I proud know, of you. Wow, finally, <laughs> you see that there is a connection. There is something that I need to get from my slides. You see that there is a small connection. So Foss. So, you see light is connected to Photia and Animos. You said Animos? And Animos. So, mm -hmm. fire and air. Oh. Um, Zol, life, is connected to Gi and Nero. Okay, okay. Thanatos and Anathasia are connected to Metalio. Wait, Thanatos and who? Anathasia. Oh, Sia. Sia, mm hmm, are connected to Metalio. Interesting. And you see, connected to Xylo is a question mark. Oh. And you see the symbol for Scotati, there is nothing connected to anything else. Mm. 
the skull is connected to nothing. Mm-hmm. And once she sees you writing this down, she goes, uh, we're understanding that these are the, um, children of these ones. From our records. That's something he knows, right? Because it was on the... You guys have never gotten connection points of who is the creator of the other gods. You guys do know that Gi is the son of Xylo, but that was the only connection you guys ever had. And only Ki knows that. Zol, not Xylo. (laughs) Zol, I'm sorry. I get them mixed up. I literally am looking at it, too. So Zol... The only thing you guys would know, and I think Key is the only one that knows because she said it verbally to her, is that Zol is the mother of Gi. That's the only connection Key, you guys have. He has communicated that with the group as far Got as it. I know. That that Gi is <laughs> her son. <laughs> yes, yeah. or At least I know that Noctis and Phoenix definitely know, but I'm just going to say that she told the whole group because I think that she did. Mm-hmm. I just okay. can't remember when. So what you understand is that light is the father of fire and air. Life is the mother of ground and water. Thanatos and Sia together created Metallio. What? And Xylo has an unknown origin. According to the papers, she has. Okay, okay, okay. I could have sworn something was somewhere about this. Let me double check you. <sighs> I do not believe this. Anatos and Sia made my god. Interesting. <laughs> Death and immortality created metal. I'd be like, hey, friend of pals us. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to find your creator's body. You want to help me with that? <laughs> trying to find your mom's body, you dipshit. Help me out. <laughs> you um... want to help me out here? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you know that actually explains why he ha- he can make bullets of memory because his creator also has a connection to memory. How interesting! I feel stupid for not making that connection before. Um. All right. So, okay, so... as you were copying down some of this information. The other group ten starts to leave. You see that Zara from the corner of your eye makes herself looks like an elven woman and she she leaves. And then Callan Callum Callum leaves and makes himself look like a half orc as he departs. Leaving just the two of you together. As you guys are going over different little bits here and there. Would you like to offer anything else to her to gain any other information that she might have? God, I'm trying to think what information we could use that won't jeopardize us. Mm. He wants to ask what she's most curious about. In what context? Mm. Well, I'm trying to figure out what information you might be missing that I may or may not be able to give you. Hmm. I've been to quite a few places, learned a few things. It might help and I was told by a member of your group that you were to be trusted. So, and we're kind of in desperate need of allies right now since 
we've made a mess of things. It's it's been it's been a rough time. That's understandable. If you don't say the right thing to certain people, it can come off uh, ungrateful. Oh yeah, I've made that mistake already, several times. Unfortunate. Yeah. I do have a, a question. Yes. How did you acquire said tattoo? <laughs> I wandered off into the right cave. I passed the test. In which location? What location was it? I forgot. Clover Cove is where you were. Uh, Clover Cove. Interesting. I haven't investigated that location yet. I have only been looking in certain other locations. If you give me yeah. one other thing that you may have in your possession, I may give you, uh, something that's puzzled me. I still can't quite understand it. Hmm. He doesn't have to physically hand it over, does he? You don't know. Oh god, no, that's a risk, I'm... <laughs> She's here for knowledge, not necessarily to steal something from you. If anything, she might take it to look at it and then write things down, but she... You're not quite sure if she would just take it and run, but you could do an insight check to I see if she's that insight. kind of person. I want to do an insight. This ring, I just... No, I just gained cool ping. I don't want to lose cool ping. Insight. Insight is intelligence, right? What? Mm, is it? I don't know, I'm gonna look. <laughs> it's wisdom. <laughs> wisdom. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, let me go look at it. It's plus five. Okay. <laughs> right, he's not about to lose that shit. Absolutely not. I'm trying to math. Uh, 19. She's fairly upfront. She just wants to share information and she's not going to steal anything from you. She just wants to know that if she gives you something of very great importance, you will also do the same. Okay. She's not going to give you everything willy-nilly if you're not going to give something of same usage and stuff back, you know? Well, Why give and give and give if you're not going to get anything back? Would the Gilded Cage know everything in Star's journal already? You don't know. <sighs> I mean, it's a, it's someone's personal journal, so you don't know if that would be a game changer for them or not. Because it's a journal, it's probably the only journal that he currently has, but doesn't mean that information isn't someplace else as well. But you don't know. Does the Gilded, does the Gilded Cage know of Venry's importance in... You guys have never had that conversation with them. You don't know. You probably would suspect, but you don't know. She just wants information. You have information that you can give her. I know, I'm just trying to figure out what it is. You have a lot of information for. you I could know, give her. I'm like, I'm like trying to figure out what would be like interesting or like and what would like She has been even full front. She even let Key look over her shoulder at this stuff and she didn't flinch. Maybe I can turn a knowledge of something I know from the journal and not necessarily give the journal completely. Okay. Like, like maybe something he just memorized because he's been going over this stupid thing like a million times by this point. Because she's looking into ancient stuff. Ancient. So anything ancient, 
probably would be very viable to her investigation. Is there something ancient in in the China? There's a few things. You have the symbols of the unforgivables in there. Uh -huh. You have what looks to be some kind of pentagram thingy. Oh yeah, I just realized the symbols uh the the fuck, what's it called? With um the first golden child. Was he the first golden? He was the first golden child, right? What the hell is his name again? Um Go on. Asteri. Thank you. A starry star with the uh, with the numbers, and then the middle one, uh, the symbol meaning open. That could be viable. Um, yeah, I was like, I was like, ah, oh, that, because I was wondering about that and what it. Um. I already forgot what my question was. Um. He probably has this. Honestly, he probably has this big burn into his fucking skull. Um, and he can remember that it said that this could be the circle needed to open Obscura. Um, I guess that would be valuable because we need to stop that from happening and do the opposite. I wonder if putting a closed symbol in the middle instead might do the trick. I don't know. But anyways. Are you going to show going her that the pentagram looking thingy? With the symbols he's gonna he's gonna draw it out himself okay okay he's gonna... so you, you get your, your because... book and you start drawing this out for her i mean he's got killer memory at this point probably but he's just gonna show he's going to draw it out um he's going to um like just like he saw it in the journal okay and roll a performance for me and intelligence. Because oh. you're drawing from me. memory. You're not copying. Memory, okay. You said performance and... Intelligence to get it right. Oh, he, he did a bad job. Yep. Yeah. Well, he tried, so I guess he's just gonna have to look at the thing. Okay, he's like, well, so, I tried, I'm gonna have to look so at it. So you try, you look at it, and you go, oh, this looks like shit. <laughs> Smush it, yeah. throw it away, throw it into the just fire the that's behind you, take straight. out it, and, like, try again. Um, yeah. Are you going to replace the symbol that's inside with the symbol that you want, which is the closed symbol? No. So what he's gonna do, he's going to draw it as it is, and then mm -hmm. he's going to explain what this means according to the journal. And then he's going to say, he's going to ask her, do you think putting a closed symbol here instead would do the opposite? I think that is probably what he's going to do. Uh, to be perfectly honest, that's probably what we need to do if this is the actual circle that is needed to open or close it. But do you think someone has to be sacrificed for it to happen? That is what a lot of the things say. We are hoping it is uh, not the case. But we are trying to figure this out. <sighs> okay. Okay. Roll a persuasion. Roll quick for persuasion. me. Persuasion. To persuade her that this is enough information to give for her to give you this this final piece of the puzzle that you might need. If not, I'll just have to keep giving her formation. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, hold on, let me mad. That's a 23. Wow. I'm That's impressed. So funny. I'm like, oh, now you give me a high number, you piece of shit. Interesting. Okay. So, you see her kind of nod. And as you had finished writing down from her notes, and she takes that little bit from you, you see her kind of store some of her stuff away, and then dig into her bag and take out a small looking item. This item is round, and on it has two wings etched into it. One is in white, one is in black, mm -hmm. and in the middle, 
is a familiar symbol of which you have seen before. What symbol would that be? In the middle, since you technically still have your monocle on, the oh, symbol the symbol in the middle is Ava Hennis. And the wings that you see, they're double, double wings on each side. So it's like one wing and then another wing. So it's like they're, they're doubled wings. This seems to be some sort of talisman. She is allowing you to write down or to duplicate it a little bit. Does she know who it belongs to? She does not. He is willing to... Well, actually, I don't think he even has any control of this. He's just surprised that he's seeing this again. And he's all like, oh my god. It's... I think, I think it's like, it kind of like... When you realize something and you half whisper something. Yeah, like, you're like... like a gaff oh touch my whisper. God. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Oh, <laughs> he's like um that's not like he'd probably be like that's a menace what the fuck you, I keep saying this shit and she's just like looks at you kind of confused before kind of nodding and then putting kind of motioning you towards the fire location she goes but watch this and you okay. see her take the talisman up to the firelight and the center single area in this talisman where the symbol kind of goes around, there's like one tiny hole. You mm -hmm. see that when she holds it up to the light, you can kind of see through it, but it sh the firelight shines through this tiny hole. And as you turn to look at the wall where she's now pointing you to look, it looks mm -hmm. to be some kind of map. Oh, shit. A map. Can he... <laughs> and she kind of pulls it back and goes, I think that's Fuck. enough for now. And that's where we're going to leave tonight. No! As no. she takes it away, a couple come through, a couple comes through the window. He and Venry have come back and you are there flabbergasted and blinking and confused as you watch as she takes it and tucks it inside of her shirt. Roll an insight for me, Chang. I'm going to cry, y'all. I need that man, bitch. Please. I'm gonna beg on my knees. God damn it. That's a seven. You can't get a read on Sophia's face, but she seems pleasantly surprised seeing the two come in as she kind of glances over at you before Venry kind of comes over and starts talking to you guys about the fireworks that had recently gone off. He said they were beautiful, the be most beautiful he's ever seen. And then he suggests that you guys leave for the night and come back tomorrow, as it is getting rather late. He'll walk you home, though. It's like, damn it. Sophia gently gets up from her chair, goes to her items, gives you a nod, Chang, and a smile before leaving out the door. And that's where we're going to end tonight. Hope you guys had fun. Damn. So, no Dreams fun was that. No fun was that. No, none whatsoever. No. Oh, damn it. Nope. <laughs> Painted it. Absolutely <laughs> horrible. <laughs> I'm glad you guys had a good time.